And second place went to Jack Rawley. All right, welcome to the final of the ACT Optical Kings Cup. Our, fi our finalists on screen. Where's that? Where's that yellow gown? Tim Dixon and Dave Rothel. Tim Dixon had a very, very good slice of fortune to uh, finish his Hill Hill match against Matty Harmon. If you haven't watched that, go back and watch it. Quite the sick shot. And Dave Rothel has made the final via way of Travis Crawley, um, which was a 9-0 scoreline and then a conceding of match that didn't actually get completed, but may as well just say 10-0 and be done with it. So we've got an umpire for this. We did this last year as well. Hopefully it's 30-30, not 20-20. I think it is 30-30. There were going to be umpires for the semis as well, but one of the umpires was actually sick. Um, so Maddie made a judgment call and said, no, we're just going to do it for the final only. I think the time clock is probably more a factor for Roth than Tem. Tem's a pretty quick player. Uh, as you may have seen, he can be at, at times a little temperamental with how the flow of the match can go. As I said, Matty came, came back at him hard and uh, it looks like the, the momentum swung before Matty threw the white off the table. I thought that was a... I mean, there was a big, obviously a big slice of luck at the end, but I think that white off the table was uh, equally as killer. And this is race to 11 now, this final, so basically it's the uh, same as big guns. Should be a good match. Contrast to Styles, although Ross been playing pretty attacking. I'm not sure he won that lag. I think Tim did in the end, but. I think, it, personally, I think the players should just rack the balls themselves and just let the umpire do the rest. Um, otherwise, we could be going through a bit of this.
<laughs> so yeah, Tim is just going to rack him himself. I think this is just the easiest way. The players can't complain if they get a crap break or whatever. It feels like, let me check this route. What's so different about that? <laughs> I want to make sure it's regulation. Now Tim will now dump the white in the uh, top right corner. Top left, sorry. No, that's up right. It's close. Pot a ball. Well, they pot lots of balls. Black over the hole for later. <laughs> and he's going to go reds. So nice, nice break. Nice open table to start with where there's no clusters. There's no problems. Just a matter of good potting and good white ball. This right here to me is the key shot. You need to just make sure you draw back enough. Oh, he's gonna, I thought he'd play the long ball and draw back, but he's gonna play the ball in the middle. Can he just glance on this red? Yes, he can. Sometimes hard to call Tim shots because he plays pretty quick. I think this table is, of all of them in the room as well, I've commented already before, I think it's the quickest table and I definitely think the rails are, are bouncing more responsively and a bit more springier than the other tables. And I'm not sure what the reason for that is, but it's just definitely something I've picked up on. And I'm not the only one, a few other players have picked up on it as well. It's good that they're using it for the final, I think it's the best table in the room. Uh, easy opener there for Tim as far as getting through him concerned. And 1-0 uh, on the board in about, probably about a minute. You'll see if you uh, open up the live chat to you guys. Um, Kenny's just whacked up the donation link there if you want to uh, contribute to this uh, streaming event. Help Kenny get some more equipment as well to keep his streaming intact and, and up to date and produce a better quality moving forward. Here comes a side on break. Get to see the cue, how it reacts here too, if it bends or straight through pretty good. Big break there from Roth. And he too will uh, enjoy this spread and will take yellows. Don't see any issues here. That yellow that's near the black does go cleanly. The only thing I can see that can possibly go wrong here for Roth is his transition from the bulk end of the table back up to the other end of the table. He's over-screwed that. Wanted to be right side of the red rather than left side of the red. Hello everyone, this is Kenny Nickel. I'm just joining uh, Jamie uh, in the commentary um, just to uh, round out the experience. Round up the experience. Round out like the it. experience. <laughs> what little bit I can add. <laughs> oh, we've had a few tussles about the cho choice of shots, mate, so we far. We have. It's good. Now, Difference of opinions are good things. I would expect Roth to try and screw back centre table and play for the... You know, he's already given it away, <laughs> but I was going to say play for the <laughs> yellow near the black. Just got to be careful. He doesn't... He needs to time this screw back, not punch it so <coughs> hard so the because what will happen when you screw off a ball especially with power the white ball will shift then screw back so it'll shift to the left on this occasion then screw back but if he times it well there will be very little shift hasn't played that well has not played that well at all but he's got away with it because he's on the bottom left or he's probably still on the one in the middle he might better just jack up and oh he's actually on the one on the bottom right as well so he's on everything 
every, every ball except the one he wanted to be on. So that's really straight. So I expect him to take this right now. And he'll even be able to stun for the ball that's near the black. He's not going to take it now, though. So sequence now will be, as you look on the screen, bottom left, center, bottom right, black. He's going to make a liar of me. And he's going to not go that way. He's just going to run him in a line, in a square. So the most important thing here for Roth, not too much angle and not on the rail. Me personally, I play this with I just I play this with run through on top, just to come into the lines rather than stunning it and going across the line. Better to come into the line of this shot. That's why I've played it with top like that. That's perfect. Look at the camera work there from Kenny. Mm -hmm. Going off. <laughs> yeah, just trying to get the best angles. And Roth just says, nice. anything you can do, I can do too. One all. So two break and clears. That's what you'd like to expect in a final. Mm. Another huge break. Well, Tim actually said to me last match he's struggling with his break. Whatever he's doing, he's found it now. He's put four yellows, a red, and says, I'll take the yellows for happy days, part two. Just got to be careful with his transition. He might even take reds. Um, just because I actually think the transition on reds is easier than yellows. And he is indeed going to take reds for that reason, I would suspect. So you can now work through all these balls and you can just leave that one over the hole at the bottom of the table till last, just to link to the black. So I'm glad I re-evaluated that shot selection choice in time. Because the run out I was mapping on yellows I discovered pretty quickly it was more complicated than I thought just getting down to that final yellow, whereas reds, it's uh, much simpler. And probably probably this is one of the two key shots required in this frame. The other key shot will be the position on the red to be on the black. You just want to be nice and straight on it, just stun for the middle. It's a lovely shot. Not, not ideal yet, not in prime position, but he's still okay. He can, he can play this ball in the corner, play for red in the middle. Just wants to make sure he doesn't over-angle the shot, so he's going away from his work. And he has done that. He's gone a little too far. That, that rail that it just bounced off there, that top rail, that is super responsive. It's really getting some big bounces off it. Not sure if he has to screw off this off the back rail. Might punch it fairly, fairly hard off the back rail and get back up table. Oh, oh it's come out of the pocket. Straight out. Always the risk when you're playing at such pace. But he's got a pretty good white yeah. as a, as I guess a, I wouldn't say a reward, maybe a, I guess a. Let's have a look. I don't know what table. you call that really, but it, it definitely hit the back of the pocket and flew out. 
But he, as it as it stands, he's actually overplayed it by a mile too. No one ever likes seeing that though. Still looks pretty simple. Yeah, this is another key shot. It's got a deep screw. This played it well. Very nice. Uh, Roth might be forced to transition to this ball in the black now because transitioning off the ball in the bulk area is actually quite tricky so he's got good angle to stun down and you don't want to get straight on it it's fine to just leave yourself the two cushion angle to come back up the table so if you're if you can imagine the table as you look at it now just picking the gap between the two reds and landing kind of in line with the second one but he's not doing that he says, shut up, Jamie. I've got a better option than you. Watch this. And I'll tell you what, you might be right. You might be. He might have underplayed it slightly. Okay. Let's have a look at what view. Uh, let's have a look at this view. Yeah, you can see there's a fair bit of angle there. And try and play this off back and side, is he? Or side and back? It's hard to tell. Top and side. Yep, back and side. Oh, wow, it is responsive. Yeah, the rails are bouncing huge, I've noticed on this table. That's what I'm saying. I really enjoy playing on it. As long as they're all the same, and they seem to be. What, what does he... No, the question is, what does he do here? Well, I think he just, just plays stun, a stun shot for stun, black in the middle. Yeah. Hold it as straight no, as he's possible. he's going to run through. No, he's, he's got to stun it. He's going to stun it. He's going to play the black in the opposite pocket, opposite corner. Really? Yep. And once again, a nice bounce off that rail. <laughs> really liking the way this table's playing. <laughs> Kenny's like a kidney candy shop right now. <laughs> He's just playing with all the angles. Well, we've got four cameras set up. So side, front, and both diagonals. Very nice. So Roth punishes the error from Tem. 2 1. Might be a little bit harsh in saying error. I mean, he did, did hit the back of the pocket and it flew out. Jack Phillips is saying, who are we predicting? From what I've watched, um, Roth has had the more dominant score lines. He's had the harder draw oh. through the tournament overall. Like he had to play Woodsy in the 16. Um, I think drawing Jake for Tem is probably the hardest of the eight. Jake would have probably been favourite for the tournament at the start, in my opinion. Um, oh, wow. Oh. I, it's a hard one for me to call. I think... I think Tem's shot making is more dynamic. I think he's playing better overall than what Roth is, but Roth's consistency, I think, is better. So if, if, it's hard for me to call. I really don't know. If I was forced to make a call, I would say, and this is based on one thing and one thing alone, and that's that Roth has won a tournament, or well, I think he has, and Tem has not. And that experience, winning a tournament, is invaluable. Like knowing how, how to get over the line. Well, he didn't want to commit. I th I'm a little surprised that he didn't commit to the yellow in the corner and go into the black and the yellow there. But that's just, I guess, indicative of the fact that he's probably consciously wants to slow Tem down a little bit and not allow any rhythm. Problem is it can backfire because if uh, he, he starts shot making and he comes up with a big shot, oh, oh dear me! I think that held its line pretty good. To be fair, it started wide and went wide. Now can Roth get into this yellow enough to then stun onto the black and yellow? If he hits it full ball, he would have linking ball in the middle, but. The angle would not be ideal, going away from his work. 
See what he can do. The cannon was missed and uh, some re-evaluation required. My evaluation of this is he's in a bit of trouble. He's in a lot of trouble. Mm. Looks like he's not sure what he's doing. He's going to play the runoff, but to what end? He's got to just decide Safety. to play a good white, but I don't know. Nah, it's a pretty good shot. Tim's looking at red off yellow here. Just needs to be careful. Probably wants to get through this a bit. Get the white ball up the other end of the table. A bit soft. But the problem oh, is he's no. left the yellow inside the red here. But this black and this black and yellow on the side rail is still really horrible. But Roth can actually play this shot left and then leave himself left. an angle yeah. to play the ball bottom left as you look at the screen and uh, and get into them. It's still it's still like you need a good kick out, otherwise you're not gonna be on anything, so it's still awkward. If anything you want to kick the black. Kick the black half ball so the white ball moves the other way as well. And then you've got the ball down the rail. That yellow, as you can see there, it will go inside the red. So to me, it's it's kicked a black half ball here. Or if you can kick him at this, like in the middle of the two balls at the same time, but not too hard. But his angle here looks like he's got to force it a bit. So to me, it's uh, it's not like you can just play it plain ball and 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 control the pace. You've kind of got to get into it a bit, so the pace to control is more difficult because you've got to get that throw of the white. He's actually hit it too hard because it threw too wide. That's a disaster. Multiple areas of disaster there. Number one, the white didn't go anywhere near he wanted. Number two, the reds come over and block the yellow inside the red for any future shot that he may have liked to play in there. I don't really see anything amazing here. All I can really see, to be honest, is playing the double on this, trying to get back up Oops. the table for the markers on the yellow in the middle. That's all I can see. He's, he's clipped the red. Is that what he wanted to do? I don't think he meant that. Maybe he did, I don't know, but why would you want to? It's worked out. I think he's wanting to catch the, the rail just before the red and put the white ball up there. And restrict to one. Oh, Tim Ooh. says, Tim says, happy days. Give me two. I think he's on the ball in the middle oh, to the right let's middle. Have a look. Let's have a look. Kenny says, let's have a look. I've got a thousand camera angles to show us. <laughs> um, can't see that Give one. Give us the other one, mate. Yeah, that one. That one? There we go. That doesn't tell us either, really. Yeah, it does. I, I it, don't think it goes. I think it tells us it's tight, but it's probably on, I reckon. Bit of swerve. He's looking, taking the outside <coughs> jaw. It must be pretty tight. It's oh, no, he's going to play the one at the top and play cannon onto it. He's missed both. How ballsy is he feeling right now? Because he's got a good angle here to screw off this ball in the corner and get into the black. And it's the sort of shot that Tim loves to play. Very aggressive. No, it doesn't play it. Uh, my new angle might not have been there. He's also got a chance to do it now. A lot of people will overplay this and come off too. Might keep it on this angle for a bit. Just don't put too much side on this. And that's a great yes. shot. I don't even think he had any side on that. I think he's just played just a straight 
straight uh, stun onto it. It's hard to tell if he can hit it. Let's see if this angle gives it a bit better. I think he can. Yeah, I think he's looking at what to do Next. with these. I wonder if that plant's on. Looking as if it is. He, he's down. I reckon he thinks it goes because he's down on this and he likes it. <laughs> Good comment. Kenny trying to win an Oscar. <laughs> well, there you go. Roth did win Geelong, so he has won a tournament. That's a great shot. What a sh Yeah, I thought that was on. And he's played the white, though. That's the best part of that shot. Just under hit that a little bit. He should still be okay. And Tim says, I'll take two all, thanks. And the Ben Noonan toilet break after winning a frame is, is on. Yeah, so just letting everyone know, I can't do the diagonals at the bottom end of the table where the balk line is. So I can definitely do diagonals at the uh, Maybe if he's, if he's donated, he can afford two more cameras to do that. <laughs> so we can put cameras all around every angle. I am open. looking for some more good quality cameras, but they cost a lot of money. What do they cost each, mate? About $3,500. I've got four of them. Wow, that's, that is so, a lot of money. Yeah. But I'd love five, so I could have straight two sides and two diagonals. And the overhead one, of course, coming down. Yeah. I've got eight slots that I can plug into. I guess the overhead subject to the lighting, though, isn't it? You well, no, I've already got Shane's going to make me a, an actual... Uh, Shane Smith is going to make me a, um, a lighting thing for it. Okay. So, apparently you can put light rings around it as well. What if you've heard of those light rings around the outside of it. it. Just, I don't know, it just works with it better. So they've both decided. So, Tim says, I'm going <coughs> to the toilet. And Ross says, I am too. Let's put a uh, sponsor. Let's plug some sponsors, hey? Yeah, just just a shout out to Matty Harmon as well. He's actually he's put in some pretty huge work to get this tournament to where it is now. Like this is obviously it's been running a few years now, and it's getting good traction for interstate players to, to come over as well and compete. So we got you know Jez McGuire came over from Tassie. We have got a few Vic boys down, some SA players. I'd like to see um, a couple of new you know people from New South Wales have ventured down too. I'd like to see some other states get down. I mean, you think about it, guys. You're playing a race to eight minimum. Uh, you know, it increases as you get deeper. It's, uh, it's a good format. And these tournaments are starting to become more and more popular as well, rather than your truck raffle race to threes that are obviously your standard $10,000 comps we've been accustomed to for years and years. They're, uh, they're starting to make a real stamp because people <coughs> prefer the longer races. Generally, you can gen you can loosely get a bad luck in uh, in a in a short race like oh, race to three. They're back. Okay, they're back. Is that? Thames dump the white. Yeah, bad luck can uh, can cost you matches in in maybe a race to three. Bad luck in a race to eight to eleven or whatever. You probably bulb it up in other areas to uh, compound that loss. So you can have a bad run of the balls for a long period of time in a match, but I can almost guarantee you, you've made errors as well to make it make it a okay, guaranteed let's just, loss. Let's show it to everyone so people can see it. This is the break that we need. Kenny's missed. excited about replays, guys. He's finally got them working, so... No, I have to... You have to. You have to get excited there about it. You've just missed Maddie's opening. Uh, yeah, not Maddie. Dave's opening pot. It happens. As long as we get the break, that's the main thing. And I don't see an issue for Roth here except for Black. The question is, he's got the ball over the bottom right there. He can just drop onto the Black with the right angle or he can go into it if he wants to, but there's more risk attached to that. Oh, he's under hit that. He's under hit that. Second he played that, I knew he'd under hit that. That is a big error. So Tim's going to play this yellow off the red. He's perfect on it.
So mopping up bottom end of the table. So we can transition up top side and then have anywhere middle table for the black with two. Shouldn't make an error here going through the yellows. Straight up and down. Yeah, straight up and down. Well, he hasn't played that to his liking because he would like to be he? on the bottom left of the two. Well, he might be able to sneak it yeah, in. Yeah, I reckon he can. Well, he could. Oh. Had, had a bit of side on, as you can see. Just not enough. I'll tell you what's good about this shot for him. You can kind of play it as a cannon now. Not that I'd still rather be right behind it and just drop it in and have two on a black, but I'm trying to look at the bright side for him. <laughs> if he, I tell you, he's a chance to snooger himself if he hits the black here and doesn't pot the ball oh, like this. He did not do I've made that call. Second visit. I have oh, made that call. You did make that call too. It was very possible that to do that. And that's what we call in Poolan, Bubba Town. I think Tem has to come off side rail and try and pot this and play the double off the red in the middle. I don't think he has a lot of choices. Oh, did that against Matty too. Yep, so here we go. Off the red it comes. This is the only shot he's got. Off the red, huh? Let's see. Got to catch this. No, caught it too full. Oh, Off the red. How do you feel? I, well, it's going to sound really harsh, but he deserved that. And that's because of his error earlier on in the clearance where he didn't get the right position. It's incredible how it compounds further and further into it and makes things worse. And the worst result there was in potting a red and fouling. Well, actually, a worse result is potting the black going in and off, but we won't argue over semantics. Roth may actually have to... I don't know, what am I talking about? He's going to pot the long ball. Leave the one over the middle to last. That's weird. I find myself as a commentator sometimes getting a bit of tunnel vision and uh, seeing a, a shot where the camera angle presents itself as a possible shot and then oh. thinking I'll have to call that shot when it was completely the wrong shot. Wow. So once again, import two important things here. Don't leave too much angle and don't be on the rail. Being on the rail is okay if you get up the table far enough. If you don't get up the table far enough and are on the rail, it's no good. Or go too far. So play this with a touch of side, touch of right hand side. See, if I'm rough there, I, I, I want to get up the table there. Like I want to be pretty straight with it, but I think you can just drop it in. And he's okay for, for the top right. And I also think that score's not right, is it? Is that no. right? No. Um, what did they score? What I think it's I to all. To all, is it? Okay. Thank you. To all. Done. I'll make that 3 2 in a second. Oh, okay. And Roth says, Oh, we'll take the lead, thanks. 3 2. Oh, we'll chop up and then let you chop up and then win. <coughs> so that was an error, error ridden frame in comparison to the first couple. Can he 
get a monster break again. Get that double frame lead. Oh, it shouldn't be. Okay. Um, so that should only be happening when I press play. So not the smallest of breaks again from Roth and... I think he would have liked to have taken yellows, but the accessibility is not high, so he's going to take reds. Reds are still good. Just the one lone ball to get up on neatly towards the end of this. He said, bugger you, I'm getting on it now. Unorthodox it might be, but he's on it. And we may see him play this with some running side as well. Yeah, I do. I see him playing this with running side. I don't think he's straight on. I think he's got enough angle to come off two rails with running side. There we are. And Mark third, Nans is whacked in a 20. Good on your Mark. And also... Oh, Mark and Donna eating, no surprises there. Thanks, guys. 50 bucks. Mark and Donna always regular contributors to Q Sport streaming. Thank you. if he's left a gap there for that yellow. He's just checked it himself. I can't 100% tell. But yeah, no, there's definitely a gap there. I've just checked the table and there's definitely a gap. So this is a good chance for Tim. Just doesn't have the right angle on this yellow to just drift through. So he's got to come off a side rail or play for the middle ball next. So ops for middle ball. And once again, just needs to be careful because his angle's going into the red, but he doesn't want to stun into it and then not be on the yellow. So he's just check that, check that line. Oh, he was straighter than that. That's good. Hmm. So he's fine here. Doesn't have to do heaps. Doesn't do you, just remember you didn't, just because this is partial pock, you don't have to smash it living hell out of it. You've just got to play with enough pace for it to slide inside the red. Oh, he's hit that bad. He hit it straight into the red. He's actually very lucky not to pop the red there. I just feel he's rushed that a touch as well. Uh, he does play quick, Tim, but just, just shots like that. Just a little bit more care potentially needs to be taken just to make sure that you are taking that right line. Good chance Roth will accidentally pop both balls here. They're screwing off, it's a better choice. Uh, he's playing at dead weight, so he doesn't pot them both. He's, he's found a good line too. Pretty disappointed Roth, Roth hasn't busted out the glove for the final. I think Zelda needed deserved an appearance. And that's a talking point.
Yeah, good pot there from Roth and just a nice little controlled stun centre table here for the ball in the middle, left middle. He's going to play the run through by looking at where he's pointing the cue to the white. So okay, just going to, going to see if we can get a different angle. And just wants to be just off straight so we can stun just to the right side of the table for the black in the left middle. And it, it's probably slightly underplayed. If I want to be really fussy, could, only because he's got to play this with a bit more finesse now. Whether he was a bit straight, he can punch it. You can't punch this. You've got to sort of finesse it in there. Drag it. Yeah, it's kind of like a little soft screw shot. So you've got to play this with. A, it requires better cueing. Well, he's actually going to run through yeah, off run a side through. cushion. Played a bit harder then. Yeah, you can cue through it then. Yeah, good oh, shot. It's all right. I myself probably would have like played that little finesse shot I spoke about earlier all day long, I'm and probably probably missed it. Sorry, I have to swap over the monitor. It's still working. And I, I I actually haven't seen every single frame Roth has played, but I would like to know his percentage of balls when he's on the black on any type of medium style shot or whatever, where it's missable, but you should get it on how many he's actually missed, because my guess will be he probably hasn't really missed one of them. And that's pretty important. I didn't see him miss any against me. This final's just screaming to go deep. It's just, both players are, they're going to run racks and they're going to punish one another for errors. And yeah, we're just. Our score is. Score changed? Our score is 4 2, is it? Or did you change it already to 3 2? Uh, no, I haven't updated it yet. So. It must be 4 2. Roth then. just got that? Okay. Boys are just taking a quick break while they move a couple of the tables out of the room. Won't be long, only, only be 30 seconds. Uh, three all you say, sorry, my apologies. Uh, four, 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 two. Two to Roth. four two to Roth. Got it. Oh. All right, Tem to break. Needs a big break. Good split. But black. he's put the black. Start again. I'll tell you what, I would not let Tem practice on my table. He's a heavy racker. Just drops the balls in the triangle. Tem's not a favour of using uh, the top rack. Uh, most players have opted to not. I mean, they tried to use it at the start of this match as well. I don't know if you saw or not, but Tem wasn't happy with the way the balls were coming out of it. Mm, yeah, they're, so they're, I think they're spons sponsors to sponsor this event, so um, we're trying to uh, use it. I th it just adds a little bit extra time. Um, yeah, look, the, the, like I said, the only issue I've had with it, I tried to use it as well. Look, I tried to use it as just a huge change-up because I just couldn't pot a ball. Um, but I just couldn't get the front balls to sit because every time I pull the rack off, they'd come apart. Oh, there's a there's a trick to it. I've I've worked it out, um, and mine the spreads really well. So that I found a trick I would have liked to have known earlier. Yes, yeah, so before Travis match. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well before. Yeah, it it just yeah you just pull it off the front before you pull it off the back, and it just seems. No, that's how I was doing it. Oh really? Yeah, and I oh, just and it was I was still pulling off. It was it was quite. Ah. But it was I, was I was copping it 
from all the triangles because just the bed, you know, it's, when a bit of fluff mm -hmm. kicks in, it, it's got to be a p completely perfect surface for them to never split. Mm. So look, I apologise to the person who gave me a thumbs down for this stream. Um, <laughs> whatever it is, please let me know in the comments and I'll address it. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen a thumbs down in a stream before. What's going yeah. on there? I'm not too Could sure. Could just be a troll. Yeah. Maybe they're thumbs down in my commentary, mate. There's a good chance that's what it is. Hmm. Good effort wow. from Roth. Yeah. He has created a disaster for Tem down that bottom end of the table, though. I mind having a look at this, this angle. So, it's definitely 4 2, right? You just need to make sure that's the score. I think it is, yeah. Yeah. These are all show no game, mate. Yeah, just confirmed it's definitely 4-2. It's behind us as well. I'll tell you what, it's pretty easy to tell if the score's wrong because the viewers at home, they're pretty, they're pretty quick oh, to they're get on, on the ball. look for us. Yeah, yeah they are. Re often rely on viewers for info. Ooh, what a shot. Oh, it flicked off something that we missed. Flicked off the red. Wrong camera angle, Kenny. Yeah, he's nicely on that, isn't he? But I'll tell you what he's done. He's, he's opened up a, uh, a red, though, to punch inside the yellow. Just go back to the straight view, mate. That's yep. it. Yeah, his head was in the way on the straight view. I'll tell you what he's got to do. This is, this is tough to judge, but you want to come off side cushion off the yellow but you want to come off it thin so it pushes into the black and red mm, so maybe here yeah. well, he's going to play it off this one maybe like he's going straight up and down yeah straight up and down yeah it might I, so I don't like this because I think he's going to hit the yellow too thick and it's not going to go into the black oh, and red I don't know. no I think it'll go past it yeah I think he, I don't know if he's tried to play I off the yellow he tried or not. To play, play, play off it. But the shot I've just said is still the mm. shot. Um, <clears throat> I just would have done it earlier. You reckon he'll cover now? I don't know Tim to be a coverer, but um, well, I can't see that red going in though. Well, he's, I, I can see it going in, but I mean, I can't see it going in and see, knocking the yellow onto black onto red. Well, I can, but you've got to you've got oh, to come off the side rail off the yellow and catch it thin. Yeah. I think it's doable. Oh, okay, thin. He's he's opted for the layup. Oh. I don't blame him for doing that. Yeah. That's a percentage shot, no doubt. Do not be surprised if Roth looks for a shot to play yellow onto red onto black onto yellow. Yeah. It will open everything up and give him a very good chance to clear but he won't want to do it before that yellow near the side rail is dealt with. Now, you may look at playing it now as a bit of a shot to nothing where he um, cuts the red off over the hole. Could also play the flick off it now. I'm not sure what's going through his head, but I'm just coming up with ideas. Oh, straight up and down. I could flick off it, off the, um, off the side of the one that's over on the hole and, and just come over to the bottom side of the table as we look at it now and just cut off access to the reds. Oh, he's going to play the double now, and the cannon. Oh, and he's... It's a disaster, oh, though. Oh, do you don't think that yellow can go underneath the red? At least to take control of the pocket? Possibly. But the reason I like the shot, I like playing one of the yellows in the middle of the table onto it, is because you play it at an angle where it's harder, and then the yellow can't stay there. When you're doubling it onto it, then the yellow can stay there. Well, that yellow will definitely go off the back of the red. <coughs> I still reckon I'd... don't know if I'd be trying to commit to this anymore. He's 
committing mm. to something. I'm not 100% sure what it is yet, but... It's almost like he'd do it now. Would you do it now? Would you... I kind of, he's got to do it sooner rather than later, so he mm. has access to the black from the and, other ball. And put, and put the other balls, exactly. Oh, geez, that's a lot softer than I thought. You know, uh, I, uh, let's look across the table. Um, let's look across the table and see what he can do. Oh, now it's... Oh, I think Roth can get to it, though. Can't really see from any angle that I've got. He's in a bit of trouble here, Jamie. He's now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's normally, it's for people that aren't here. Um, I don't expect people to be watching it while they're here. Yeah, that's the thing, yeah. It's going to be a foul snooker, I think. Yeah, absolutely, definitely. Is flickering. Okay, yeah, I might have to take that off. Oh, look at this shot! Oh my God, he's got a result there. <laughs> to what end? I'm not sure. I think he's got angle to go into the yellow as well. So, oh, he's he's got a pot still on. He can play this to the top left corner, but it's tough. You know he's going to take it on because he likes to take him on. Straight up in the top corner. That's all he's got. Oh, wow. That's in. That is in trouble. If not, it's close. Good effort. Wow. Very good effort. Okay, let's see what we've got for... This is probably a good angle. So Roth can sort of play a semi-shot to nothing here where he takes the yellow up to the top right-hand corner and just plays a little controlled stun off side rail. When I say semi-shot to nothing, the only reason I say is because if he happens to miss the pot, the across table on the black is gettable. So Roth says, no, nah, screw that, I'm playing this ball in the middle. Good pot, up and down. And he's on it. You can just see right there just how nice and quick this table's running. Didn't really smash the crap out of that, and it's still... Uh, Still managed to go up, down, and back up again without really too much ease. Uh, with that, with with ease, sorry. Almost. Let's, let's have a look and see how good his angle is here. There's a big pocket there, isn't it, Jamie? Yeah, but I think it's one of those ones where you can catch the oh, jaw. You can catch, yeah, double hit both jaws. Be unlucky to do that though. Happens heaps. It's incredible. But for me, I want to pot it. Oh, wow, he's a bit straight on this. He's going to have to screw the length of the table, right? S screw back and then Go up Go to again. the side view for a sec, Kenny. I want to see if this black's touching the rail or not. If it's off the rail a bit, he's okay. You can screw back and just flick it in. Well, it, it's not hard up on the rail, so it will flick in. None. Oh, 
Oh, he's tried to he's play tried it off to the, play black, off the yeah. black to open it. It's a good idea. But as I said, it's amazing how mm. often that happens, isn't it, where they catch mm. the jaws. It doesn't go. As it turns out, actually, if he had a flick to black the way he intended, he would have it would have flicked over yep. better than that. So, just needed a bit fuller, right? And as thin as it was, still control. If, if you're going to play that shot, if you're going to play that shot and try and control that, why not just play the deep screw yep, up and down the that's table? That's what I, I thought. Thought he might do deep screw bottom then top again. But this is still a tough shot. He he he's he's feeling. Oh, no, he's missed that. He's overcut that by a mile. Yeah. And this is a scoreboard pressure starting to kick in now too. And as 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 many errors as Roth's probably made this this match, you know, the last, especially the last couple of frames where it's been a bit back and forth. They've been handing each other the frame, and Roth's been coming out on top in these. He's pretty relentless in this sort of thing. Seems to come out on top a lot in these back and forth hand handball sort of type matches. Our score. Five, Five two. two. Okay. Let's fix this score up. Roth's uh, charging away a little bit, isn't he? Uh -huh. I've seen him do that enough this weekend. Yeah, but it also swings quickly as well. Yeah. Here. Pretty important set of balls is for Tim to clear, just because of the errors that have been made the last couple of frames by both players and Roth coming out on top. This ball on the top, you know, the, uh, on the cushion, though, the red that's on the rail that could prove to be a problem. Ooh, you might have wanted. Mm. You should, can't really kill that yellow anymore, can you? The one on near the middle pocket. Oh, I think it's already in a bit of trouble. I think you've just got to get yourself. I reckon position. it's worth. I reckon it's worth coming off that yellow and killing it more. Or not. I reckon it's already dead. Is it? Okay. Well, let's look at the um, top-down view and and see. You reckon well, that's dead? Well, maybe it's flicks mm. in. Yeah. Well, that's not too bad. Too straight. Too straight. Yeah. Actually, mm. he's all right. He's, he's okay. back to the top left corner, right? I think you'll play the run through. Oh, does it go in the middle? Now well, let's have a look and see if it does. Just trust me, mate. I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Played that really well. Yeah. Very nice. I personally struggle to play those shots like that. So I do appreciate them probably more than most. I wonder if that black goes. It goes everywhere, mate. Yeah, straight in the middle. No, no need to even look at that. So as I said, important frame that for Tim, and he puts his cue down and says, I'll be back in a sec. People here now watching this too. Bit of a crowd yeah. building. 
I do. Oh, I think we might have got more donations. Who do we have? We have... Oh, sorry, five... Uh, five, three. five, three, thank you. You want to stab it, did you say? Did I hear you rightly? Sorry, I'm, you're not on mute. No, I'm not. <laughs> five, three. Yeah. I actually thought uh, Tim broke that, but he didn't. It was Ross' dry break, so this is important again for Tim if he wants to get back in this match, scoreboard-wise. Mm. He's had a few big breaks. He's dumped the white, the last one, from memory. It's not on. I've taken that off. The flickering that was, it was doing. Yeah. Oh, 150. Not as many as we had for the quarters. 170. Oh, yeah. So another dry break from Tim, and Roth says, I'm probably going to go yellows here, Tim. Thanks for the open table, buddy. Just these two yellows that are stuck together at the bottom end of the table that are the problem. Just come a bit far there. I really do feel he wanted to be a little straighter on this so he could flick it in thin, come off the back rail and into the yellows. But it, as it stands now, if he flicks this in, he's probably going to go into the black. Now, we can take the risk of cannoning black in and into the yellows, but he would need to get a football contact. And there's a lot of risk involved in that. But he probably doesn't have heaps of choice either, to be fair. So it doesn't get the right contact for the cannon. He is on a ball. Greg Laurie, 20 bucks. Thanks, buddy. I'm sure Greg was watching, hoping that uh, Jezza was still going, but uh, unfortunately got rolled in the quarters by Matty Harmon. And thanks for sharing it to um, the Tasmanian uh, Facebook page as well. Um, I noticed it was shared by someone. Yeah, we're at a rel relatively quiet time of the year as well for tournaments now. We've got Berry coming up in July, and then we've got the Tassie crossover in August. But other than that, not a lot going on, mostly state triads and stuff for a lot of states. So, quietish time of year for tournaments. Wow. Tim looks a little bit. Uh, Body language wise, doesn't look awesome right right this second. Really close to going on step back to the Just got that fucking whiny voice. Shot from Roth on this ball that's uh, near the red. Lee Raynan's asking, when is the next CSR event, Jamie? Sorry? I'm assuming it's the Q Sport Revolution. Oh, look, for the, for the viewers we have that are actually wondering why I've gone a bit uh, dark and not really been doing any live feeds about what's going on, look, to be completely honest, I 
I played big guns and uh, I just copped some serious burnout. I just needed some time off. Um, uh, and you know what, well, it's no excuse. I should have done a wrap up of the events and stuff that have happened. Uh, it's poor form by me in that regard, but I, I literally have had some serious burnout go on, coupled with I had a busy time with work just straight after Big Guns. I just thought, you know what, I can wait. Um, I'm actually hoping to do it after all this is done and just wrap up everything in one go. It'll probably be a long feed, but hopefully uh, we can get things back on track soon. So Roth opting to leave ball and middle to last. Mm. Wants to be fairly straight on it. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. But it's actually funny. These shots are very missable at pace because what <coughs> happens is because you've got to draw back off it and you've got to play it with a little bit of pace, it's quite easy to overcut them into the close jaw. Mm. So it's, if... If ever you're going to play for outside jaws when you're taking in the middle pockets like this, when you're not fully open. But he only needs to draw back six to nine inches, right? He does, but he still will have to give it a bit. And it's, see how his cue's not yeah. parallel now? because It's, it's dangerous, isn't it? Yeah, it's very easy to shank him in. I don't expect him to miss it, but it's easy to shank him into the jaw. Played it well. Wow. Played it very Played well. Played it with pace too. Yeah, I expected him to punch it. That, that shot there is the shot that you will miss to the near jaw all the time when you're not queuing well. If you're mm. queuing well, you feel good, you just bang them in like that like it's not really an issue mm. and it should never be spoken of. But <laughs> it's, it's just, I've seen it happen so many times where people just throw them into the near jaw when they're trying to screw off a ball. So, Long, you've just asked... Um, they should try the top rack. It never failed to pot a ball this weekend. Look, it was good for me, but um, look, they're just, I think they're just, they have the option to use it or not. We can't force them to use no, the top rack. People have tried it. Um, yeah. they just. But in the final, um, I, I guess old habits are die hard, right? Well, no, I mean, we haven't tried. They even tried it at the very start with Tem and had a couple of goes with it and then switched the because he wasn't putting a... a no, no, this was before the match started. So he switched to the triangle um, and then wasn't happy with that either and racked him himself. Yeah. He didn't want the referee racking yeah. him. Yeah, very and particular. Rack's so important, isn't it? Well, I, I like to rack mine as well. If I don't really care, like if it's just like local league or whatever, I mm. don't really care who racks the balls. I couldn't care less. But if I'm going to play in a tournament where I'm you know, obviously wanting to, to be competitive and win, then I want to rack my own balls. Maybe today I should have got someone else to rack them for me. Yeah. Sometimes it's not the stupidest idea in the world if you've got someone available to you to rack the balls for you. You just can't pot a ball for your own rack, so you just get someone else to rack and suddenly you're potting four. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, Paul, uh, Paul Hunter, you're asking about the top rack. Yeah, that's the, the top rack we're talking about. So um, we just... It is there for them to use. Um, it's just they're deciding not to use it for the final. They might also have um, just forgotten it's there as well. They're so used to just grabbing the triangle. But I've found it quite good. Yeah, for those that, like... Obviously, the top rack question mark, maybe not know what it is. So what the top rack is, basically, it's a triangle with... It's basically shaped, I guess, like all the balls in a triangle, and you put them on top of the rack rather than over, the, you know, like around it or underneath or anything like that, and you just slide them together, and it keeps the balls in place. Um, so when you obviously release the triangle, they're all set, thanks to the shape of the, tri of the actual rack itself.
Ihr seid ein Kind. Ne? So this angle that Roth's got is it's no good to go into the yellow and open up the other red. He's gonna Which I shouldn't say that, it's not too bad. How's he gonna get onto that? I actually think he can cannon the yellow out of the way. Well, I think he's canning oh, it. Oh, he'd need too much top he, spin. He wants to cannon it on the opposite side, he's probably gonna hit it. He's gonna put it in the corner. No, nah, he's alright. It did cannon nicely. But he, the problem is is like I said, the angle he's got, yeah. it's not transitioning properly. But How's I think he going to get around off two or three rails? Well, I think he can miss everything here. Just play a plain ball off two. Yeah. Or off three. Three, yeah. Uh, I don't think he needs to put any gear the on the right, white. Huh? Yeah, just play it with top and just swing it round. Pretty easy sitting here. But I honestly do think the angle here is perfect to just miss everything and just get around the angle. Put a bit of left hand side on it. Yeah. Oh, miss the. Yeah, I middle, thought, miss I the thought left hand side yeah. was dangerous because it brought it off in play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a it's a hit and miss that one. So the the, the side will take the yellow out of the equation, mm. but it'll bring the middle into equation. But he should be right here to play black same pocket, I would imagine, unless he just tries tries to drop it in and play in the left centre. But I would rather cue this, play it off two, providing the angle's there, of course. And the angle played it. Oh, see, my I that feel I, now he's overcut that, and and he's he's going way wide to the to the side rail. I think if he had played that plain ball, he definitely had access to get to the corner. And I mm. think the reason he's missed is because he tried to hold so much. Yeah. So for me, it's just cue the ball in, let it swing around naturally off the two rails, and be on the black in the same pocket. Yeah. But as I said, it's really easy for me to sit here and say this stuff. Like, I'm a full control freak at the table, and I and I try and keep that wide on absolute string most of the time. Mm. So no one able to play that shot and done the same thing. But when you're sitting here watching and the pressure's not on you and you're not well, you're not worried yourself about you're the control. You're the best in the world. Exactly. It's, it's, easy to, it's a bit easy to call the, the shots, but I think he's gone too far there oh, to play the yeah. cannon off the ball wow. in the middle, which is what he may have intended or even the one in the corner. It's actually a really bad shot. So everyone, just look in the top right hand corner of your screen. You'll see the um, lo sponsor logos change. Uh, you'll get around to a red and green uh, logo, which is the top rack, and that's what it looks like. Probably take about a minute or two to get back around to it. I think he's going to try and play this off two rails and get himself an angle to cannon into the yellow or play for the double. A bit of, is that running side or? I don't know if I like that shot. He's forced to play for a double now. Can't screw into it. I think he's got too much angle. Let's have a look and see. You might be able to see from... I'm already here. telling you, mate. Yeah, no, I believe you. <laughs> yeah, plays for right. the double. Couldn't really see it from there anyway. Didn't land perfect, but he, I'll tell you what, he does double well, Tim. I haven't put the moz on him for his sake, yeah. but he does double well. Oh. There's a good example of what I'm yeah. talking about. He's overhit this, but he's right got second middle. prize. No, that's right. He's even got the shot to nothing on this black if he wants it. Let's see if I can... Well, it's naturally there. And in it goes. Oh, that's rolled out on him. A touch just near the end. Thought that was going to jaw for a sec. So six four to Roth. Yeah. And Tim is fighting, but uh, that was courtesy of a pretty big error from uh, from Roth.
Constantin Val. White ball on the table is a very important component of the break and uh, it's it's going to hurt. It keeps happening. Just don't, don't see anything going wrong here just because it's like a ring of ring of rosy this out. It's all linking. You can basically almost go around in the, in the uh, semi-circle. And eliminate these balls. Other than the two that are on the bottom left, as you can see the screen, because you'll probably play the ball in the middle first. But actually, I'd probably change my game plan here and play for the ball that's in the opposite middle next, then play the ball near the rail and mop the other two up later. Oh, he's got into that a touch. He's all right. <laughs> he's all right, but I know that's travelled way further than he wanted. I think he's tried to land just past the black spot there and play the shot I've suggested. Hmm. That ball over the middle, though, does offer the best, probably, path to the black, so... There's a lot of traffic in the middle of the table to negotiate can... when you're heading back up for black. I wonder if he can... Hold for that. So if I'm Roth here, I'm probably happy to pot this ball in the middle, the ball in the corner, and leave myself a nat like an angle where I can just play off a side rail and flick it with side. Just flick it and create that angle through the gap. So you can see a huge gap between those yellows that you can play into, but to play in it, you would, you'd either need to stun into offside rail, but it's much easier to just flick it with side and just let the natural angle mm. be used. Would much rather have been dropping that in and rolling this red in and coming into the line better. Now we're sort of going away from the line a little. No, I'm sounding really critical, but it's just little things that can make life much easier. So even this, he's stunned this, and this is this is a screw shot through the gap now, or or more f or a more forced required shot. If he runs through this, so you see how he's looking at this angle there to stun. Which if one? he if he runs through, he can actually just play it with side and pick that gap. He doesn't have to judge the stun. So for me, it's he's just made the shot more difficult than it needs to be. Even though I still expect him to get it, it's the it this needs this he's needs to be try played. to go through all those yellows without touching them. It needs to be played with execution now, rather than just a natural shot that he can play with just a flick aside. Let's see how we can do it. <coughs> So he's played it very well. And he's got the angle. He's, well, he's caught the yellow. He would, would have liked to have missed that. But it just... I just think the way I've suggested, even if you were to put balls on a table at home and ch and put the white ball in you know, multiple spots where you can choose the natural line to just flick it with a touch of side so you can create that natural line through the gap, I think you'll find it's an easier way to go rather than trying judging a stun. Yeah, good pot from Very Roth. Nice. And he goes seven four up. Look, I'm not I'm not bagging the guy out. Don't get me wrong. He's still executed the out. He's got he's done the job. It's more, I guess, just to just to present other ways of doing things, which p potentially, you know, when you when you're doing these sort of shots over and over and over, to limit the chance of things going wrong, especially if you're not queuing the ball great. 
you don't need to be queuing the ball great if you're playing a natural angle, but if you have to play a stun shot where, you know, you can get four, five, six different results from stunning the white depending on the power you hit it, the timing of your action, it's, uh, it can make a big difference long term to your game across a number of matches and tournaments. Oh, he's potted a nice one. Oh, look at that black's tied up, Jamie. Yellows are the balls. Yeah. Does he have an easy opener? Bit Chinese on that one Hang in on. the corner. Reds are the balls if he can break into that. those three now. He's not going to pot the black. I don't think the angle's there to go into him now. Yeah, he'd need too much top. Mm. Oh, the harder you hit well, it, the more it's going to swing. No, oh, actually, you know what? Looking at that angle. Touch of angle. He can, ch he can cheat it. I think he can definitely get into him from that angle. Yeah. And you know what he's called? Reds, mate. So your shot is going to get played. Actually, he's screwing off it. So, <laughs> stop bagging people out, commentator. I didn't hear you bagging him out, did you? That's that's Dax. Don't listen to him. Oh, okay. Just starting something, is he? Dax just likes to troll me. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look. I'm just interested to see what he's going to do with this black now because I liked your shot, Kenny. I thought I thought the angle was there to get into that yellow. It's um, tight. Yeah. You're probably right. It looks like he would have. I'm just. I'm just trying to. a bit harder than normal. I'm trying to understand what his what his game plan is to extract the black. Oh, he's going to want to do it sooner rather than later, so he's got options if he doesn't get a good land on it. So, don't want to leave it to the last in case you don't land on it. Let's see if he does land in the right spot. This looks a bit straight to me to get into it. Maybe you can just uh, stun it back an inch or two. Yeah, and then play the ball in the middle. Just a touch of angle is all he needs. Oh, well, he's stunned on through. Yeah, don't, yeah, yeah he look puts at his head 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 down. He knew it wasn't a good shot. I'll tell you what, he must have decelerated off that pretty heavily because it's really hard to stun run through that at that pace. Yeah. <laughs> must be Dax again, is it? Yeah, Dax is trying to wind me up. Hmm. All right, here comes here comes the shot. What up to rails? I reckon no. that yellow's in the way of playing that. Yeah, I think too. What about what about, has he got the angle here to play the red in the bot? Like yeah, left with a bit side. of top. Yeah, and then yeah. Cannon, the, cannon the yellow that's to the right of the black. Yeah, and it look, it'll leave the black on, right? Let's have a look and see if it does. I mean, he, he's not he's not um, going to leave himself the most awesome red, but it's going to be a chance. So this is what the black will look like. I, don't, I think the yellow's in front of the black. I reckon it goes. Go back to the normal view. I reckon the black's on. Once Roth gets out of the way. <laughs> He's going to play this shot. We may not get a chance to check it now. Right, we're still going to get a chance to check it. But he's going nowhere with this now. Oh, he's going to go just go across the table, right? Oh, hang on. Go back to the yeah, front on view it, again. Well, let, let's actually see. what. Look at this. Yeah, that goes. Can stun and off a side rail. Yeah, stun off the side rail. Still needs a result. Great shot. I reckon it was on anyway, but he's definitely on now. 
Oh, he's got Dan out of look. Have a look at that. Oh, dude. Get a still shot of that. Get a still shot of that pose. <laughs> Get a still shot of this pose. <laughs> he looks like a he looks like a cartoon chicken. You just got to get a still shot of his pose. Really? No. Somewhat. Dax, Dax, you're there. Go back, get a still shot of that chicken pose that Roth just did. And send it through to me. You know how to, I know you'll know how to do it. Okay. Yep. I'm handing you off to uh, Brent Hampton now. Oh, I can't believe he's won the Blancs comp. Wow. Yeah. Uh, 250, but split it with Tanaz. Black must not and have been on. 50. Hey Jeremy, how's it going mate? Good mate. What I missed looks like a bit of an epic. Yeah, it's been not a bad match. It's been a few handballs back and forth of frames which Roth has come out on top of. Yeah. When I've looked over, oh, uh, that's, looks not, like that's not awesome. Tim's break's a bit dry. A bit hit and miss, yeah. yeah. yeah the, the break is, uh, like I said, it's been killer for a couple of people. Yeah, no, every time I look over and watch him have a snap, he goes dry. I think it was twice, but... I think Roth's looking at the triple. Kenny's loving his views. He's just sw he's switching between views on average once every 15 seconds. I don't think that's on. Oh, he's, got, he's, back, no, he's going back door, triple. Back door, double. Good view from here. Ooh, if that yellow wasn't there, it would have been interesting. Big advantage, Tim, now. Yeah, Tim should not lose his frame from here. Well, Is there any really chance you plant that yellow into the rail wall? Try yeah, and develop? I think there's, you've got to be careful here because if you if you leave, so you see where he's looking at this now? Mm -hmm. This is very gettable in the middle, potentially. You know what I mean? If you make contact with the black off the yellow, it could go in the middle. He's just checked it to see whether he thinks it's on or not because if it is, he's got to be much more precise with his white. Oh, hang on. Hang on. See, I think, I think he's tried to stun behind the yellow because he doesn't even want the back rail escape. Uh, oh, you're saying he can back door into the middle? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, because yeah, I, I think what you're I think about. the yellow can make it a better chance. Yeah. Anyway, mm, mate, you, you just concentrate and open your envelopes <laughs> and get your money so out. Right? Just before I leave it there and forget yeah. I had it. That's all right. I'll I'll clean up for <laughs> yeah, you. I'm sure you will. No, this has ended up being Come a... On, you've taken enough camera money this trip, haven't you? It's ended up being a free trip for me. I've picked up some money Friday night. I've got 5.20 for the quarters. Oh, it's ended up being a paid-for trip. Oh, wow. There you go. Oh, where's that yellow going? Wow. Great hit. Always a chance, as you said. And, and you know what? Tim won't be filthy with that because he... No, 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 not because he did it to someone else, because he knows he should have stunned behind that yellow and he left the up and down on. Not made it, not let it be an option. Yep, he, he knows that that's not good enough and at this level players can do that because he's done it himself. Donation to Cubal TZ. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks, man. Oh. Better than nothing. <laughs> Sorry, here's an envelope. Alright, now I expect Tim could dump the white here trying to power break. That was a, oh, that was, that was an ang <laughs> that was an angry break that. that. Was, and he's starting to get frustrated now. And this is the this is the problem with Tim sometimes is when things don't go his way, mm. he can get a little frustrated. Flares up. He can fl yeah, flare up, that's a good word, mate. Flare up. When he's flying, he's super dangerous. Just gotta be able to control his mental state a little bit more. If he's touching, if he's not touching, I don't know if you can push it into the centre, but it's pretty ugly. At least he's on the reds. Yeah, I think you can pop this one down the rail, but the linking, the it doesn't link to bad. anything. Have a look at these yellows. So maybe that one yellow above the black. It's a little bit dicey to get on. Yeah, good call, mate. And uh, Roth's just waving the wand right now, saying, here's the order. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Guardian Libiosa, I think it's pronounced. A big couple of frames coming up too. He gets to nine or ten. Ten four. Yeah, 
it's it's it is getting deep at score. And Next couple of frames, obviously, quite big. Whichever way they go. Not sure Tim will concede if he's 10 4 down. What? Technology. Technology? Unaware of the mute button, mate. Yeah, very, very much so. Where's this guy? Bit of a key shot here for Roth. This yellow you spoke about, Hammer, it's, uh, it could, but if you can get a little cannon on the black, or just land short of the black, you can drop it in the middle, but. And he's now got to worry about these balls over the middle. He's got one that's hanging, you know, closest, uh, what, where is it? Near that red just there to the, I think it's the right center. He's also got to come back up for the other one. Oh, this goes in the corner. Oh, this is oh, a wow. bonus. Oh, this opens everything up. It. Frame ball, really. Oh, he got oh, the kiss. Flicked, but well, I'll tell you what. I don't know if it's if on it anymore. If it doesn't go, he kind of deserves it. Oh, he's doing the chicken wing. He's doing the chicken stance again. <laughs> it's the, it's That's good. The Atlas, the dude that holds the globe. Yeah. Atlas. You know that one? Doing a bit of those yeah. ones. Yeah. Oh, here we go. You Greg. Greg's... Greg's produced. <laughs> I'm going to put that straight on Facebook. Yeah. I can't help myself. Here he goes. He, he thinks it goes. He might be able to cheat it. Oh, it, went oh, easy. it was on. And he's, no, he's actually been very lucky there. He's absolutely perfect now. Doesn't have to do too much here, Jamie. Just roll the yellow in the centre and... I think he's just leave himself enough natural angle on the most middle yellow gut stun up table. I think we're splitting our viewers between the NT Tigers because Q4 Q Z That's why we don't have any more time. Yeah, nice little shot. Ooh, did he leave himself enough? I think he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. He may have to screw screw back. I don't know if he can force it. Is he You'll have to screw back off the side rail rather than stun it up the table, but yeah, he's fine. Uh, and black goes both corners, so he shouldn't have any problems from here. No, he's not. He's not. He, he can s wow, that's a great shot. It's a difference, I even say. He's absolutely fat on the yellow. Great shot. He's looking really solid. Great camera work, Ken Dog. Oh, mate, he's he's he's, he's got he's, a kid with new toys. Oh, he's he's <laughs> he's in bed with it. He's been sitting that here way. with one single lame view all weekend. He's itching to get to these. Yeah. No, he's done well, mate. Been worried the finals. Uh, well, this is a good out from Roth because he's um he's got a bit of fortune. They were awkward. Big frame in the context of the match. Solid as a rock, eh? The astrophysicist slash world record setting game speed player slash chicken chicken pitcher maker Atlas viewer move. looking thing guy Dave Rothel, nine four. About to add another feather to the cap, potentially. Yeah, you got to remember too. He was runner up to Justin Sage last year, and it was probably a winner if he didn't time foul. Correct, exactly. So. Correct. They give him an extra 20 seconds this, this final. He yeah, is. 30-30 instead of 2020. 20. Making a good account of himself. Absolutely. And showing that he's, you know, like, how high up do you rate him in, in Australia, Jamie? Definitely a top 10 player? Or not that? He's just a dangerous player. Yeah, top, top 10's hard. Yeah. Um, 
I, it's funny because Ross, Ross, one of those guys, he comes and goes. Yep. Um, you know, he changes his focus. Uh, at the moment, his focus is very much on eight ball. So he's playing well. Yep. And then he disappears. True. He doesn't play, you know, state titles and nationals and tournaments. And you just don't see him. And then suddenly he comes back again. And then he goes deep in a comedy. Oh, yeah, I forgot all about Dave Rothel. Yeah. Um, but the one thing I can say about Roth is when he plays in tournaments, quite often he goes deep in them. Very, very consistent player. Absolutely. I think, yeah, whenever I, I haven't been on the scene for that long, but every time I've sort of watched him play or he's played in something, he's always a threat. He's always pretty dangerous. Not, not the most, you know, he doesn't do anything fancy, just real solid. Eh? Like, no, not he's... much that goes wrong with his game. And it was, it was robot like. Weird. I was commenting about his action, his queuing and all that. And like, look, far better for me to talk about people's actions because I'm horrible. But I noticed his back arm sticks out. He's not, there's not a lot of alignment about his whole <laughs> stance and, and action. But he delivers the cue just fine. Yep. Uh, and I think I think his biggest attribute, honestly, is his concentration. Well, and I guess it sort of proves as long as you're sort of comfortable. There's a few probably fundamentals you've got to make sure of when you're queuing a ball, but being comfortable and confident with your strokes is the most important thing. I just think his concentration is second to none. Yeah, true. He just he just has it's all the computer. right. Yeah, basically, yeah. Safety. Oh, he's playing safe. Oh, look at that. Bit thinner. Kenny manages to change the angle just in time for your viewers to see that shot because he's an angle master. <laughs> I thought there would have been some merit in having to dip at the double there. If Obviously, it wasn't on. I thought he might have played that if it was there. Yeah, it was a strange shot. I think he wanted it a bit thicker than that. Oh, oh. that's it. Not great. Well, he's tried to come off the red. Mm. And I can tell you another thing, too, just by that shot there. Whenever you want to come off the rail and off a ball, it's most of the time you'll overcut it and hit mm. into the ball rather than going off the back of it. Is he looking at the double here? He's looking at the double across the table, this red into his two over the corner to try and get some coverage. Yeah, that's it. what he's looking at. You can actually go gaming. Oh, Ooh, got the good. angle wrong. That was a pretty key shot. <laughs> hey, you got more money. Oh, that's a big miss from Tim. I think he's just... Needs to get going again. Just not feeling it at the moment. He's coming up against a pretty solid player. Yes, Joshy King. I know you paid my tender loan entry. Josh King paid me entry into the longs because I had no money. So what's he expect to cut now? Uh, I won't even give him his 10 back. <laughs> no, good bloke. I won't see him for a few months yet. <laughs> Joshy owes your orange juice, mate. <laughs> He took me to the cast the other night, so I think we'll call it even. <laughs> Take it that didn't go well. No, didn't go well at all. Oh, oh wow. what a result. And you know what? This could be a dummy spit. Tem smiling, but he, in, inside he's stabbing Roth. <laughs> <laughs> he's, got, he's got the machete out. He sliced his head clean off. It's, he's filthy. <laughs> he just missed the guy at the top corner. Tem was, was a pretty ordinary one. He's uh, a dangerous period here. I'll tell you what's got to be going through his head now is how do I win a major? <laughs> how can I win one? Because I keep getting deep and failing. And I know he hasn't lost yet. And he may still not lose, but what it's got to be... demons. Yeah, he'll be, fight, he'll be fighting those thoughts. Especially the close one with Matty there to get through. He would have loved to make the most of this. Yeah, I mean, for me... 
for him, it, this should be a bit of a free swing because probably shouldn't be. Mm, to be fair, got, got a fair bit of love to knock that ball in, as we know. I mean, that's provided Matty still wins a frame from there, True. you know, but he was looking favourite. I mean, he only has one from there and who knows what would happen, but yeah, you're right. Could have been anything from there. Oh, look at Roth just tightening the screws. Just says, Tam, you've got to ball over the hole, see what you can do with it. There's no way you can sort of get a yellow into this corner and take the pocket back. Not really. Either. It's pretty ugly down there. He's oh. maybe going to go into him. He's thinking, I wish this was a black ball. Oh, yeah, right now. I saw this shot, but the problem is it's not going to... He needs so much right luck. In in there. Well, he needs luck. He's going to smash this. In the corner, you think he's going to smash and try and get a result? If he can catch the yellow, the middle yellow full, I'm assuming he's going to cut the top one and then cannon into the the second red on the. He rail. needs all sorts of luck. Full, that's a result. Wow! That's a massive result. Wow! How about that for a shot? That just gave me wood. Wow! <laughs> that is one of the, that's probably the best shot you'll see today. That's a big shot. You might just need this to get going. Now, I don't know whether he's just said, oh, yeah, I'll play like this and it'll come out like that, or whether he's just played for a bit of luck on it. I think it was, you know, he had, he had the ability to play it in an educated way rather than just smash into it with no, no care whatsoever. But he did get a result with that. Yeah, well said, mate. I've already put it on Facebook, mate. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a fast worker. Does this go to the centre? We got this one. This one. There's a, oh no, he must have a gap through the other one. Oh, that's quite oh, fortuitous. Uh, what's he do? Come out off, off the bottom cush side rail and yellow in the same pocket. Yeah, yeah good call. Bit short. Uh, he should be fine. Black to the same pocket. A little bit short. Oh, oh, that'll do. Still not great, but you got to dig into it a little bit. No, he's okay. Oh, great hit. Well done. That's a huge out from where he was when he got to that yeah. table. That's the mic drop out, that one. <laughs> he's just like, drop the cue on the table, off you I go. Cop that. You almost need, you know, bonus frame where you get big outs worth two. You've gone the wrong one. Nine five, mate. Don't no. don't sell him too short. How about that for concept? You have a it's not gonna happen, but you play in a comp and you get one bonus frame in a match where you get to count as a double frame if you win it and play your chip. Oh. <laughs> not but bad. If you lose it. Maybe it's got to be triple against. I don't know. That's pretty sick, actually. But you lose double back. Yeah, something like that. Oh, Joshy, accident on the Hume Highway. Oh no, no good, mate. Sorry to hear that. Get on the phone. So that's BJ on game day. That's Joshy, isn't yeah, it? Yes, yeah, Joshy and I. It's a bit, yeah. bit of an unfair, bit of a not very nice name there, mate. Oh, it's a play on words, obviously. Hey? It's meant to be that play on words. I knew that. Yeah. Oh, well, come on. I don't know how slow or fast you are. I'm pretty on to those things, mate. <laughs> Any innuendos related to that type of thing, I'm all over it. I'll drive safe, Josh. It doesn't seem like you'll be moving too quickly, so you won't have to, to worry. But We didn't get a power from Tem there. Mm. He's I been powerless this weekend. He's, I well, I think, he's, I think he's cut down on the power wow. He definitely, but, I have not heard a single power all weekend. He, been, if he wins, he'll power. He's still in it. He's definitely still in it. And that big out might just get him going again. Needs a big break. Had no right to go out from where he did. So that was what he needed. He was in Darwin as well. And then did Wow, 
Wow, that's a big break. That's not small. Oh, that's a monstrous break. Holy wow. bejesus. He's going to take regs. This could be another one of those 30 second frames. Yeah, just just got to make sure of that red near the, the black there. Yeah, I agree with you, mate. But I think it goes to the bottom left. But does have to be a little bit careful. Also goes in the, the middle. I think you can just middle. sort of stun onto the red. Or just even drop this in onto the red and then he's just on it. Like this. You can play it now. That's what I'm saying. You play yeah. it now. and Otherwise it could be a little bit ugly later. I don't know. I just can't see... No, yeah, he's going to play it last now. He's going to play it last. He's going to play it last. They're all rollings. They're all rollings. Have a look at it. They're yeah. all rollings. So what's he trying to just land on the black spot here? Just Maybe on the blue spot. Hit the black? No, just land on the blue spot. Oh, true. Just drop right. it in, then roll it in and roll the black in. Yeah, no, fair call. There you go. Happy days. Yeah, good call. What was I on about? Smoking something. And look out, how folks. This is how quick matches can suddenly swing. This guy's phenomenal. Like running laps in short amounts of time. Yeah, I think the only boat that might be quicker than him is Benny Noonan, just quietly. Yeah, and uh, Rusty's pretty pretty quick when he gets going too, but I think Tim's actually quicker than, than Rusty. I've seen him do that at least half a dozen times this weekend, at least. Mm. <laughs> that quick. He may actually be the quickest in Australia now, you know. Like, as in consistently... Like, Benny does it from time to time when he's flying, but Tem seems to just do it whenever. <laughs> yeah, no. He just, uh, he just says, you know what, I might, I might just go berserk and run three racks in a row really fast right now. And play five shots this frame. So, nine, six, and Roth says, whoa, I need to put a stop to this. I'll cut break. <laughs> <laughs> I did notice uh, when I played Mongrel mm. last night, he switched to the cut break on me. Cut did you? Yeah. He did, yeah. Tied up a bit. He just decided, to, I think he was trying to class things a little more. To be fair, he probably, it, did it help him? It looked uh, like he kept it a little bit tighter. I think he was better off opening him up because I was missing, all the, I was missing yeah. me out. So oh. until the end, I started getting a few. But yeah, he, um, it's dry. he smacked me up a bit. It's dry. Big chance. This red's dodgy on the yeah. left side. Yellows are not awesome. Yep. What are you going here? Not really any, you know, that, that red to the, the left centre. You could potentially it's develop that yellow on the left. left it's it's the type of break, if you're going to break dry, you don't mind too mm. much. This is the angle. Oh, up. he's got it, he's got oh, it, hasn't he? That's perfect, isn't it? Maybe a little, oh, little bit more angle. I think he's good, mate. Yeah, I think he's perfect. perfect. Big shot. What a shot. That's a shot. That's a great hit. Still yeah. stacks of work to do, guys. Like he's uh, he's dealt with the biggest issue on the table, but the linking ball on this ball, the top on the bulk line's not fun. Is he coming back for it now? I think he's done to the middle. Ball in the middle, clear the po clear the path for the other two reds. That's brilliant. He's playing brilliant at the moment. I think he's actually um, got not a great angle. He might have to flick the red. Just roll it in. No flick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought he tried to flick right. it. Yeah. The problem he's got now is he doesn't really have the angle to transition to the ball on the rail now where he would have loved to have it's been... dodgy now, isn't it? Yeah, he wanted an angle to stun off the side rail. Can the left corner? I guess the problem is you don't you leave yourself a white ball to hit. Oh, he's playing the deep screw. Miss it. What a he's shot. Did that with ease. Pisses me off. What a shot. He's got to play this one down here again, doesn't he? Yeah, I think you try and get right behind the ball yeah. on the rail so you can... Just a little bit of an angle. I think dead straight's even fine. Just screw to the centre pocket. Pull. That's a that's a big. It's got to pull up. Got to pull up. Oh, oh it's, it's a little good. close, it's isn't too it? Good. He's gonna have to jack up on this. Oh no, he's got angle. He's okay. He's missed uh, it. You probably just rushed that a little I bit. Agree, definitely. I've made line. I've made comment a couple of times where I feel he just rushes a couple of those key balls. Yeah. That's very blurry. Can you get rid of that, that angle? Blurry. Oh, that's just the monitor. No, it's not. <laughs> it's fine there. Which, which one's blurry? Yeah, the previous view was blurry. Um, that one? That one? That one? Uh, it was that one. Oh, okay. Um, well, I'll tell you the what. Might be, might be set on this, this, um, this is about to be... Oh, I'm really surprised Roth played that, and I'll tell you why. He had a ball 
the play up inside the red and just kill it to the rail. Yeah, true. Like one of this one here on the left. Yeah, there. just why not play it? Just kill it to the rail, then play a safety. Yeah, fair call. What's the team got a year? And it's actually, not what am I talking about? You kill it to the rail, they're all on. Yeah, it absolutely. Opens that up opens the up that left pocket, doesn't it? Well, oh, I reckon, I just reckon a bit of tunnel vision there from Roth. I just don't it? think that was the right option. He's looking off two here. It's the bottom and side. Even though he's, you know, got a snooker. Oh, how about this? Just hit it. Oh, oh he's done the, he's done the finger click. Is that allowed? <laughs> Is he still... I know, I know Roth should go out from here, but I think you just separate. He's made it a little bit... Tricky with where he's left it, but yeah, I reckon this it shouldn't be a problem. I reckon his ankle's boobers. You gotta just you gotta just uh drag this ball in here, you know, and it's closest to us on the monitor. Yeah, just drag you can get enough of the what? Yeah, yeah, I think he can. Well, you just leave those two up the top to get a nicer way to develop them. Well like the shot I said earlier, I think you still look to play yeah. it, you know, like it might be natural on it here. Well, you hit that. That's oh, well, he'll be, he'll be wrapped with that result. That's a great hit. So the shot I've said, still play it, I reckon. I think you're right. Open you're up the pocket for, for those two too. yellows. You can hit it really bad and still You can hit it horrible and yeah. still get it. In fact, you've sort of aimed to hit it horrible. Yeah, almost <laughs> sort of halfway down the cush. Well, I just kicked the red out of there. You need a few yellows? Hmm. Most centre of the cush, generally. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's if you catch it. the bulk line, the actual line itself, it's perfect. Yeah. He's leaving it alone. I don't think he's going to play it, given that what he's doing now. He's swinging this around he's off spinning. angles. Oh, he's had a crack. This is he's playing for the middle. Wow. That's a great shot, don't get me wrong. That but is a, a huge shot. <laughs> that was an excellent shot. shot that's it? a freaky shot. I mean, I wouldn't have played that shot in a million years. I'd have just gone the simple way that I said, but... Credit to him. Good oh shot. That's, that's brilliant. Just got a relatively simple pot down in this right corner and two visits. He should be out. Yeah, even if he sits over the hole, you still back him, don't you? Yeah, it's good weight. It's not in, but it's good weight. Yeah, you still back him to get these. Yeah. What a shot that previous one was. I have decided that angle's terrible. Benedicta, it's the only wheat beer they've got. Should be all just pretty easy from here for off. Yeah, I, look, I, don't, I really don't expect him to miss these. He's very focused on this out, yeah. you can tell. So stun, stun this one for the one that's just near the black. Yep. Pop, get pretty straight on it. Pop that one in the middle. Yep. Ball over the hole last. Yep. Get himself on the hill with a nice little buffer. Yeah, Tim will be bleeding that he didn't make that out. Because mm. I think that... The two frame buffer is, you still feel okay, you feel in contention, you know, like, yeah. you just know you're, you're one break and clear away from losing a match you have no control of right. when they're on the hill like that, but you'll also tend to throw a little more caution to the wind when your opponent's on the hill, I think. Yeah. Sometimes you free up a bit more. Well, uh, you, you've got to go sometimes, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I, I had this sort of discussion, or I think even on the chat, we're talking about you know, it's you're under even more pressure when your opponent's on the hill and you're getting flogged or whatever. Whereas I think you're on le under less pressure. Uh, pretty you're much sort of facing the inevitable. Yeah, you're just thinking, you know what? I might as well go out, go down, guns blazing, That's and it. you yeah. sort of start to free up and try and and think to yourself, why don't I do this earlier? Don't die wondering, sort of thing. Now I'll be interested to see if Roth plays for the corner here or the middle. Just because the black's just a little bit past the spot. You play a little bit of, what is it, left-hand side, come off bottom and side and back out. You like that way, do you? Maybe, yeah, it depends how deep it is in the jaws, but it uh, just depends. 
There's no problem with just stunning it in and sort of bringing it now, now that I see where the ball is, I would have screwed across the table off the ball in the middle. Make it a bit more natural. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, you just had enough to hold it. That's played nothing it wrong well. with that. Yeah. He's played it well. What about the angles? Well, she rough plays those shots real good, the ones that are sort of over holes and you just got to control them neat. And when they're sort of deep like that, they can be hard to charge. Absolutely. Yeah, and that's uh, on the hill for the Roth. He's there. And Roth says, I'm on the hill. And probably a Struth in there as well. <laughs> Doesn't mind a Struth. Yeah, right. Uh, he's one frame away from a big Struth. Yeah, and he, he put a Struth up on Facebook last night after his win. I did see that, actually. And I'm sure another... Cheers, buddy. I'm sure another Struth will come up. I think, you know, he's, he hasn't got there yet, but he's really close, and if he does, he's a well-deserved champion. Oh, look, either of these yeah. guys win. They yeah, deserve absolutely. It, you know. That's sort of... Definitely two of the top players over the weekend. Form-wise, not just reputation-wise. Oh, Roth snuck under the radar a little. <laughs> I think so. Ble like, as funny as that sounds. Even though he played Woodsy, yeah. um, there wasn't any talk about Roth. A few of those other <laughs> bigger names here, yeah. you're right. Who's going to win? Uh, Jake, Woodsy, yeah. whoever Ten. else. Yeah. No one says Roth. Ten. It's a big break here. No one said Ten. me. I was very surprised about that. <laughs> Uh, you're lucky to get a seed, mate. I heard that. He's <laughs> <laughs> under the time pressure. Oh, I think he's looking at yellow off yellow. No. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, oh. he didn't nominate. Oh, okay, a bit of conjecture there. All he's good. All right, he's okay. Uh -huh. He said reds and then he said he meant yellows. So that's a way of nominating yellows. <laughs> so it wasn't a foul? It wasn't a foul. But it was bad miss. It was a bad miss, yeah, you're right, he rushed. Yeah. I, th I thought he was going to play yellow off yellow and play the plant. I don't think you could it. see enough of it. Oh, because you could only see the right-hand side of the ball, you, you could play it into it. Off that one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind of a little bit awkward as well, those two yellows depending on... I don't know, maybe he was playing for that angle to try and play the cannon into the red off yeah. it now. Try and develop it a bit, but... Still would have had to punch it. Oh, just oh, trying to tangle shot. it up. That's How about that? Shot. That's a great hit. That's, a That's very much a containing shot. 10 6 up, that's a really good shot. Put the pressure back on your opponent. <laughs> I don't think it is. Oh, he said no. Jeez, this, this angle looks like it is. Mm -hmm. Tim's not arguing, he's just saying stuff here, then I'll swerve it, and I'll come across the road and smash it. Jeez. Oh no, don't go oh, off. The white. And this could be match, folks. Just because Roth gets oh, to put the white ball in bulk. It's all over. That red behind the yellows goes to the top right. Yeah. And there's plenty of room in there, I think. As long as he tidy with his work, yeah, he should be fine. the worst result of all time. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty sick. I think this could be it. Uh, mate, they're actually all on. They, they just are. need to be cleared from one another to keep making other balls available. I think... I don't think he should have any problems with his last... You know, the transition between maybe the rail ball and the, the ball under the black, but I with two, I don't think he'll I need. don't think the rail ball is going to be last of these balls here. I think he's going to keep keep himself in this little square for a couple of shots he's, that he's in now. I think he wanted to keep himself behind there for a little yeah, bit longer. That's what I mean, just keep himself in that square yeah. for a couple of shots. I think he still run through this a little bit and then play... <coughs> The, the red most right, the one that's not on the cushion, come off the top top rail and in behind them again. Yeah, talked me up. I don't know. Can I'm we almost, get some? 
almost tempted to run through for the, the rail ball now or the ball up near the black now if it's the angles there for it. I just think while well, he's still got the other ball in Bork on the left side of the table, he needs to stay in there for a little bit longer again. But no, I'll be wrong and He's played for the shot I said. He's gone he's gone to land on the yellow in the bulk line I mean, near the black. So I didn't like it. I know he was trying to get on this ball under the black, but I still thought he needed to stay up stay up in bulk a little I, bit longer. I just think he thought the transition to black's gonna be a million times easier rather than to go. Yeah, yeah, true. Corner. That ball's out of the way. It's you just got to fall on the black, don't you? Well, then you can use his two on the ball on the rail, and yeah. just, you know, like transition yeah. if you. Sort of hampered here. Oh wow! That's I did a not smart shot. That. That's a very smart shot. Is it? Oh, he's got away with it. Yeah, that is a very smart mm. shot, that. So what's his last? I'm still wondering how he goes about the out now. Is the rail ball? Does he fall on the rail ball now? This shot to the. No, I think he he gets on the rail ball. So he pots his ball in the middle, just stuns it. Yeah. I, I think he's just going to back himself to punch the rail ball in and come back down past centre table. Right. And then he's got options between the ball in the middle or the ball of the corner. Yeah, it's not, it's not right on the rail, so he, he can't develop do it. it. No. Because no, it's tough to hold. He's gonna, he's, he wants just to be just off straight on it so he can stun back past centre table. I think he wanted to... I think he wanted to... Here's my call, mate. I'm going to do a bit of pointing at the screen. Yep. So, so viewers at home won't understand, but I'll try and explain as best I can. So you, you pop this ball in the corner. You're leaving yourself an angle on the ball on the rail to then stun off it and get past the blue spot just just to the right of the black. And then you can just yep. drop in the red in the middle and use the yellow to hold yep. on the last red. I'm just worried you'll have, you can't hold nicely for the rail ball, but to give himself that... The ability you know what, to mate? play that angle. He's playing it with top, you might be right. A little, little flick. Oh, he no. missed it, but he's still, he's pretty much got second prize. And the rail ball could be the last one now. Well, it will be now. This is, oh, actually, you know what? He's got the ball near the black as well. Yeah. I think he has to play that now, and the rail ball's your last ball. Yeah, you just like, give yourself oh, an angle to... This is sort of dodgy when you're not right behind the ball. I think he's probably fine, but he's not right behind it. I think he, this is enticing because yeah, he can kill the yellow. I think, yeah, I think he, he wants to play this because you can kill the yellow at the same time. I think it's missable because he's only sort of got half a pocket. Not half a pocket, but it's a, he he's could double. I think it. he's doubling it. You're right. Oh, can he? He's off his chops wow. playing that. That's <laughs> mental. That's a big hit. That's off its head. I would never have played that that's in a million a, years, that shot. Okay. So, so now he's still got to navigate a path. He's going to play a good weight. What a genius. Okay. I just wouldn't have played it. Just would not have played it. Yeah, Kenny called all, it. It was too straight to be... All I'm thinking about, it. even if I play that double, is how the hell am I getting transitioned back again to the ball on the rail? Mm. So I might as well kill a yellow at the same time and make more area that I can go up the table. It's a little bit dicey now. You might be... You know, you could play your shot, Jamie, to now he's, off the rail. He's got to come off two in between the yellows. He's going to pick the gap. Basically where his hand is, he needs to come in that gap. There it is. And he mm. hasn't found it. Needed a bit more left-hand side on that. Cushion first. Mm. Can he still pot this? Definitely. He can still pot Definitely this. Definitely gettable. That's a good, good, good hit at it from where he is. This is very gettable. Definitely. And there is a way you can line these up too, folks, if you're wondering. So what you do is you take the gap between the red and the cushion, and then you make that gap again across the rail, and then you take the line to that hmm. gap, and that's where so the angle you would take to hit the, the centre of the ball. So you've got to uh, obviously allow a little bit more for the amount of cut you need. But it gives you a good guide. Hmm. He'll be aiming where the felt sort of meets the wood grain on the table. Nah. So he, he's done what I said. He's, he's taken that aim for full ball. Yeah. Hasn't allowed for the extra. I'll tell you what, though. He's got the bonus. It's not a he's bad got the leave. bonus of getting the snooker on the balls over oh, the that's hole. That's a big leave. And Tim's thinking, Tim. you're kidding me. Is there any chance he comes off the side cush? Yeah, he plays it on the right hand cushion back over to his balls in the corner. I'll tell you, if, if there's nothing you like at all here, mm -hmm. take the deep screw pot on. Yeah, true, shot to nothing sort of thing. Okay. Or leave a double maybe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, at worst you leave a double, but yeah. at least you... Have a dip. 
Yeah, you're not leaving him an easy if you just yeah. muck up the safety. That's that's how I look at this. Yeah, if he's going to play your shot. Just don't catch the red. I think he's too wide. I think that's the right shot. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. And he's got wow, a bit of a result, a result on the result. back. Yeah, there's results happening all over the place for both players during this match. Oh, but he plays the double to the centre. He's probably natural. Why didn't Roth put his hands oh. on the table there? And do that. Does it go? The black to go, I think it just might sneak past. If he plays it, a double to the centre, I think he's white swinging around. Sort of okay for it. He's got to concentrate on the double, get the double in. Can well, post with a lot of left hand side swing and play for the middle, you know. Just got to be careful you True. don't go near the jaws because you're playing with power, so it's thrown towards the pocket. Wide. No, he's just played for the corner. Yeah. Good chance here. Yeah, I don't think he's left Jack. Mm, it's a bit awkward still, isn't it? He's going to play a little baby kiss and lay under this it. This is dangerous. Oh, that's a great hit. Yeah, it's a very good shot. I'm going to say Ruff does not win his frame now. That's a... Big call, call for yourself, yeah, mate. Call, yep. <laughs> that's why you're making the big calls. That's right, mate. That's why the big dollars come straight <laughs> in my wallet. He's having a dip at this one. And there's no reason why he wouldn't, I guess. May as well try and hit it. Off one. Yeah, just smash it off yeah. one, try and get a result. Yeah. Especially while that yellow is still in the black. Oh, connectivity. Oh, wow. he's just missed that red. Wow. And that should be frame. Still got another sort of mini result, but should be fine. I think he can screw straight out on this, can he? No, no he's, he's going to go underneath him. He's glancing off okay, it. he's all right. right. I didn't think he got enough room to get in under that. I'm pretty sure he'll get rid of these balls pretty quick and want to move on to the next frame with his break. Yeah, Try absolutely. Try and then rack another one up. Well, 10 8. He's starting to put the pressure on him again. That's, oh. that's loose. That's loose. It's just a bit careless, isn't it? That's loose. Still be okay, but yeah. it's just loose. As as it, he never up. ever hits Ooh. balls soft like that either. Should be fine. A little bit of, he's, he's little bit of pressure. In, he's one in twenty to pot that soft. Mm. If he had to power, it's because of his natural, natural, natural action, game. Yeah. yeah, he's got a very long. Still a little bit of pressure action. in this out. It should be fine, but uh, that's pretty good. That's perfect. I would have preferred maybe to come off the top and side rail like on it. Yeah, yeah, I think so, but there's nothing wrong with this. Like, Just because you're coming into the line a bit nicer. I prefer to play it like that. That's a great hit. That's a perfect hit. Well done. 10 7. We're back. We're back. Country, we're back. Now people have got to go and click on a new link. You just lost all our viewers. Jesus, Kenny. Come on, mate. Well, we, Are you with us, back. folks? Here we go. All right, I'll trust you, mate. <laughs> trust you, Judge. back. If, you're technical. if we could get the view on the screen, that'd be great. <laughs> Come on, mate. <laughs> you're asking a bit much, Dan. Here we go. Oh, big break from Roth, and he hasn't found the he ball. Is he going dry? He has not wow. found a ball. Still a bit messy. So 10-7 to Tem. Just update that score for us, Kenny. It's filthy messy. Uh, it's maybe one good one good cannon into the black. Away from... He's got angle on this yellow, but the red is kind of in the way. I think... I don't know if the yellow's pass under that red in the top corner. Yeah, the either. yellow does, it does, yep. yeah. Yep. But he's taking oh, reds. I like the reds. Does he have some angle now to maybe bump into this little cluster? I think he can run through this, mate, and play the other one in the bottom right. He just oh, yeah. nudges onto yeah. the yellow and he opens everything up. A little cannon into the yellow and black. No, no. Other way. Off here. So he comes into the bottom two. See this? Oh, right. Oh, yeah, okay. And then the black goes to that left corner. Yep. Yeah, okay. That's way, way just, easier. Just screw off this. Just got to make sure of this pot. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's, he's, he's got a result. It. Big oh, result. Oh, wow. Sammy is just, I'll tell you what. It's still a bit ugly. It, it, 
no excuses for him to not win the tournament, though. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. Like, he's getting the luck that he needs to yeah. continue on with it. He's got a big recovery pot here. He has. And he's got to sort of... You can only really surely just play this one on the rail. You've got to play just two cushions. And then come back for the top one as well. Yeah, the one on the, on the top one. The hole, yeah. And you always got to play a bit, bit of right-hand side, do you? Uh, you can play a plain ball. Just got to put it with confidence. He's oh, missed the pot. He's that. Uh, just gets down and hits it really quickly, doesn't he? Yeah, and that's the thing. I think sometimes his composure just needs to be re-evaluated mm. in particular shots. Just take another breath. Yep. Have a quick, another look around, not a quick look. But well, he, know, he knows that's the money ball. Yeah. So whether that's a catalyst for him to actually force the speed up of him, you know, to try and... Well, not overthink it, maybe, as yeah, well. He just wants to get down and knock it in like any other ball, but it was really quick. Well, I'm surprised at this shot. It doesn't... It's got to be perfect. Just going to miss the yellow. Lost. Oh, oh, wow. I reckon that goes, that red. I think... Oh, I reckon it jams it Oh, I think it jams. I don't think it goes. I reckon it goes. Yeah, that definitely goes. Have a look. Have a look at the table from here. I don't... He's having a good look at it now. I just think the yellow's just nestled in a little bit I reckon enough it goes. that will jam. I reckon it'll go. All right. Oh, I don't like it from looking at the actual table view from here I think personally. It's the but table's just far away. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, we're about to find out. I don't think you'd be. Yeah, but if he jams it, doesn't like pot it though. It'll make me look like a goose. <laughs> that went by a mile. You're oh, a goose. No, look at this. <laughs> that is really, sick. That is really unlucky. I'm an absolute wally, aren't I? Yeah, it's just a roller coaster out there for Tim at the moment. He's getting so much luck, and then he's having the horrible luck. And yeah, he's in a world of hurt now. The problem with that is it's match. It's match error. Yeah. <laughs> well, you do just tap this white here and make him use his two, and hope hope you get back to the table, really, don't you? Pretty much. There's nothing else you can do. There's no point going for a silly swing around and hitting it. He doesn't want it touching. Does not want it touching. If he's played for that to be touched, that's a bad error. Well, Phil's in trouble. Well, you can manipulate the white somewhere else on the table without having touching a ball. Touching ball. Ref's called touching ball. I think that's a bad shot. And the fact that he just doesn't have to glance off the yellow exactly. and keep the white up there, it's sort of tricky to get your white back into a nice spot, but now he can just play out off anything. Yeah, well, he can come off two rails and yeah. just play for something, or he can just bounce it off one, do whatever Still he wants. Is, is all these yellows around the black go everywhere? Like, is it as easy as, as it looks? The, black, the yellow under the black go? Just go back to the normal view for a sec, Kenny, and I just want to see if this yellow passes where the black is to the bottom mm, left. No, I don't think it does. It doesn't look like nah, it's not on. And you got to get on it, too. I mean, it could be another snooker coming up here. Yeah, and that's why. I, I think, think that's smart from Ross. Is it? Does Tim just pop this yellow and screw back onto the yellow, yeah, the same sort of shot? I was thinking the same I thing, mate. If he's done what he's just done before, it's the same thing, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. you just got to land on it. Don't leave him any other options. That's a good hit. That's a well. really great shot. Still a little bit of pull to be played here. Yeah, just the yellow near the black is the dodgy one. Mm. Mm. I think he might have half a pocket, but then he also got to get on it nice. But he does have the yellow above the black that he could potentially cannon into the... Does that go to the corner? I right? think it does. Is that the yellow above the black, just to the left of the black, go to the left corner? Go to the top view? Go to the, go to the normal view, yeah. I think it does. Oh, yeah, I reckon it does too. Just. Yeah. And he's... What's he doing here? Oh, imagine if he potted that. I wonder if he has actually tried to pot that. <sighs> Surely it's not. It's a pretty deliberate looking shot. Right, is this a shot now, Jamo? If you can hit, hit that ball in the left corner. I know got if you call me again, mate. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Steve-o? Can I Steve-o? What about Steve-o? Steve-o's all right. All right, Steve-o. Call me Jamo. Call uh, me an Englishman again. I thought Jamo, not Jamo. This will fly. <laughs> call it Jamo. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I think he's got to force it a touch, mate. Just yeah, so just a, might... another white ball or two across. He might have had a yeah, might wait for a better angle. chance. Yeah. Now he might. I think his angle's good now. Oh, it's almost too much. Like, it's just the pot's well, can't really be too important. much. Oh, no, you're well, right. just to it make the pot much. nice. 
No, I like it. Because you want to glance off the top of the black go to the right side yeah. for the ball in the middle. You're well, it's safe to fall on that middle ball, yes. isn't it? Yep. But I think if he's got half a bag, it's a little bit awkward. If he's got only half a pocket to hit in this bottom left corner, it's just a little awkward, maybe. He might even be sliding past the black, you know. It's hard to tell. Mm. He's playing well, it, so it means he's confident. Well, he could play the middle ball, couldn't he? In the same he is, sort of shot. He is, too. This is more risk attached because he can't control it as much. Yeah, as I Black's say, though, stuck. he controlled it beautiful. Black's still not really awesome, but he can does have options. Mm. Mm. The thick plottons. And I don't know, is there any merit, merit trying to screw into it now? With the, I don't think, I think it's a bit dangerous. He's a bit straight, isn't he? Well, you're talking well about I one think the one hole. in the corner is, is a silly shot to screw into the deep yeah. screw and try and develop it, or you just... I don't know if it's ideal. Back himself to fall, fall behind it. He does have a fair bit of room. Oh, a bit of time pressure now. It's had the 30 second call. I guess worst case, you'll leave yourself a double on the black. Mate, not in a million years will I leave myself a double on this black. Well, worst case, <laughs> worst case. I don't know if, you know, you might leave him, play this ball in the middle and leave yourself an angle to kick into him. Or is he going to play that sort of shot, do you think? The other shot that entered my mind was... Um, I think it's too thin, yes. Trying to get straight on the ball in the balk and then screwing straight back to the side rail. Is there any chance he tries to develop it here? Is he going to develop it? Does he even need to? A massive pot would be to take the one up to the top right, come off one, maybe off the side, and kick That's into not it. There. No, no That's chance. Not there, no, no. It's coming through the gap. <laughs> right, uh, it'd be awesome to see. Gee, this is actually a tricky shot. This. Jeez, he plays those shots well. What's he, what's he going for? Is he just backing himself to get on the black? Mate, I don't know. I really don't. He's obviously got a plan, but... Honestly, the way I was looking at that out, I was looking at playing the ball in the corner, dropping that ball in the middle and trying to get really straight on that yellow that he's about to play now and just screw straight back behind the black. Well, if he's if he's too fine on the ball, the middle, he can go up and down the table potentially he's gonna come, and fall He's going to come off three and get the back near the bottom rail. No. Well, now he's going to play an up and down the table. He's going to play... I think he's yes. going to come off the top rail and try and land behind the black. I don't think he can. He's, he's in all sorts here. Let's go top view, Ken. Does he think he can get into this? Uh, there's no way. He can't kick into that from there. I'll have his children I if he thinks he can do that. Made him. It's an error. I'll have his children if he thinks he can can this and be on it. Can he, if he I checks it up a little bit, far, what if he just a little bit of check? It's hard to judge. You know what? How about how about this, mate? How about this? How about just pot it and try and land near the middle pocket and take the cut on? Yeah, take your medicine. Yep. And just back yourself to pot it for the for the title. You're not going to go in off because yeah, no, you're just going to hammer into the red. That's a cool. So. Take your medicine. Just make sure. I think that's what that's what he's going for. Spot on. No. Oh, we could wow. get into it. I'm so glad what I reneged on having his kids. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a massive shot. Ah. Oh, it Last just time looks, I'll be on the stream. It looked, it looked a mega thinner oh, than Way that. too thin. And he probably cut a quarter ball, yeah? Oh, easy. So this That's is... A brilliant a, result. I haven't seen Roth miss a black like this yeah. all, all, all tournament. Well, this is it. So this shot here for Dave Rothel to be the ACT Optical Kings Cup 2019 winner. He's missed it. Oh, wow. And I'll tell you what, he didn't move at all on that shot. He was completely still. Wow, I can't believe that. It was missable. He's human. And Tim may pow his way in. Oh. That looked like it, it wiped its feet a touch, didn't it? He used all the pocket there. Two rails. Match on, Tim's break. Oh, he's got oh. the one rail. That's fine. Just theatrics. Well done, wow. And, and off he goes off. again. And big break coming up. This is a composure break, this one. Was oh, it his? 10-8. Yeah. Match on. That's the first time. 
I can say that Dave Rothel's a human. How much damage will that Miss Black do? Uh, yeah, it's fine. Massive. And now that, I guess, as you said, there's probably a little bit more pressure on, on Roth now. He's missed that. He knows he's close to the line, and, and yeah. Tem's coming back at him. Absolutely. And Tem's just happy to still be in it with a chance. Oh, really? What was this? that on as well. It's all happening. It's fucking shit. So extended break this one. Yeah. Might have yeah. gone to do number twos. <laughs> <laughs> no, big moments, mate. You don't want to have that it's bothering you in the, the back. Old, the old nervous, <laughs> the old nervous pipe reaction. <laughs> uh, so we both the boys disappeared for a little while now. Um, so you made a habit now, mate. You've been here back to back. Any reason in particular, the format, you like the format, obviously? No, I think it's been run extremely well this year. Yep. I, um, I would... Uh, Encourage people to get down for it? Absolutely. I was just saying, this is one of the few long races in the tournament in Australia, and it's very well worthwhile coming down for. Yeah, a lot of effort gets put in. Maddie's obviously knows what, what it takes to run a top-level comp. So, yeah, good to see you, mate. Hope we come get your guys back again next year. Yeah, good venue, good facilities, and... Uh, and great tables now as well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, back you to guys must be wrapped playing on these tables now after oh. you've been dealing with what you were in the past few years. So. Mate, I can't play on those tables essence, up the top. In essence, they were horrid. Um, but these are great. Tim's pot of ball. Sometimes I just wish we could have this sort of standard of table all the time, you know. Mm. I, can't, I can't play half the game I can play on these tables compared to the ones upstairs. They just play so differently. But anyway. Oh, wow, he's missed that by six foot. That's a stinker. I wonder what's made him just rush that and play it so bad. Mm. Missed it by a long way too. So, uh, so Tim broke, got a yellow, went yellows and then has missed one. So there's a... I'm gonna kill the yellow here. Just flicking the other red will be on yeah, it. Yeah, good control. That's really nice shot. shot. 
I'll tell you what, yeah, this is yeah. close. if you took the double on here. I reckon you will you screw into the black just to develop it. You play the ball over the middle next. Clean up your work up the top. Yeah, rail ball's the second last ball. And ball on the bottom. No, he's, he's looking at your double. double you mate. called it. You I'm know just looking well. at it. It just looks there. Uh, come on. Play my shot, Roth. I think Roth plays a little more like, differently to a lot of other Yeah, I like um, my shot just because it opens... I like your shot too, don't get me wrong, bit. I just, I yeah, just saw it. the double and thought yeah, he'd no, take it right. He does take on that sort of shot, doesn't he? Oh, it just doesn't want to come too far. No, he's, he's alright. I think... Because now he's playing it. He's, the double. Yeah, yeah, that was his intentions oh. all along, I think. And then he's he's got options he can play on for this ball on the bottom near the, the table badge. Oh, actually, you know what? Where the black's gone... Red could be last ball now on the rail. Just drop it in and he's on the black mm. of the corner, so. There's heaps of training. Oh, yeah, you just got to fall straight on it and you're fat behind the black to mm. the corner. Yeah. But still plenty to do. Yeah, this ball up near the um, left hand side of the table, that's the, probably the most awkward ball transitional wise now. Oh, he's, what's he going for here? He's going to go he's up and down on it. He's misjudged it. He's okay. He's, he's okay. Line. He's still on this double. It does block the black now to leave the rail ball last. Well, I think he's forced the double now. I think he's forced himself into playing oh, this double. He's, got, oh, he's not going to play. He's almost in an identical position. No, he's still not doing it. No, a bit of queuing here. I've got a bit of a fat for this double, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> and not small either. That's good. You're queuing. Yeah, it's a great shot. It could be a match winning shot right there. Still heaps to do. Yeah, well, I guess you want to be straight now, don't you? Are you going to try and just, in fact, behind this red and run it down the rail? No, I don't think he can get there. I think he's got to pick the gap between the, the oh, yellow and the, okay. where his back's in the way. The black. Oh, yeah. Try and get himself a cut to come off back cushion okay. and back up the table. I guess the dicey thing is, though, that no, I, I guess he can run through the red and play it to the left <coughs> middle anyway. I just sort of thought with that yellow now covering the black. Yeah. Oh, no, you were right, oh, mate. He's come too far. Oh, no, he's good. Oh, it's just too far, I reckon. Yeah, you're right. Just hey. too far. That was a good Maybe. call, mate. He could screw back. Maybe. I think he's a bit tricky now. Can you play this with a heap of right-hand side and no, just I think flick the black? Do you just screw out and take your medicine with a cut? You might have to. Yeah. And oh, then just layer up and load it with right. <laughs> and then come off the back cushion back down. No, no, just, just yeah, play you with right. You've got to cue it. You're going to can into the black. The You've got to catch the bottom side of, side of it, yeah. It's actually insane, that shot. Play your shot. <laughs> just take your medicine. <laughs> in or over? Never over. Never always over? In. No, never over it? there. Is always he on in. This? Yep, he's on it. This is big, this shot. Because this, I don't care where the white goes. If he pots this red, the match is over. You might get your, your double at you. No, no. <laughs> he, I don't care where the white goes. He mm. will. He will pot the black. The red is. The, this is the. This the is money the black here. Yeah. Because at worst, if he just adrenalises and overhits it, he's going to land up yeah. near the bulk line. Yeah, absolutely. But I think he's going to land just sort of past centre. I think it's just the key is a good pace here, just in or over. Right. I know you say you don't not over, but in or over is the pace. Yeah. Just take it wherever you want it. Pocket nice weight, and call it. Pocket weight. That's a good. Way. That's a good thing to call. <laughs> Victorian terms. He's hit it. He's adrenalised it. <sighs> he he oh, banged it, didn't he? Yeah, he adrenalised it. That was a, just having a bit of a tweak. Just wanted to kill it. And Tim can pop that too. So I like to dead weight that in. And yeah, I'm saying pocket weight. Pocket weight, mate. <laughs> wait, what? Pocket weight, wait, wait. Uh, and yeah, I guess like I said, key ball now is Tem to get on that yellow, on the sort of black spot there. Just about the black spot. I think Tem will be looking for a snooker. You reckon? Yeah. Oh, I just think even off two, it's too. He's got an angle to come off two. I don't like it. I, I don't like I it. I reckon there's something wrong with with what's going on out there. I'm calling a lot of correct shots. <laughs> And, and something's not right. And I guess the bonus he has is it's not easy to get on the black even if he knocks it in. And this but is, 
And he has covered the double too with that shot. Oh, well, I don't think he has, has he? Oh, uh, yeah, he probably has. I think Still. it is. I think it's natural. Yeah. You, just, you hit it and you'll take whatever you got left. Oh, he's just coming off one. Yeah, I think you can get to the oh, angle wow. natural. Yeah, easy. Easy. You get a touch of bottom hit to yellow, Kenny. Like he's, this is natural. Oh, he smashes it. Oh, wow. Because he, he knew where to get the wide out. That is a horrible result for him, too. Match on. A match on is right. <laughs> Just sense there's a few decision making errors happening out there under the pressure. A little bit of a pump. Oh, oh, oh that's gosh. A... Yeah. Jeez, he's lucky he doesn't didn't leave that red to the bottom right corner. Not lucky, but I don't know if he checked but that didn't go. Yeah, this is tricky. If you could catch the right hand side of the red. He nearly doubled it in the centre, but it's insane. I think he catch the yellow. Just while you guys are crapping on, I'm still searching for a shot. <laughs> Fair call. I don't see one. Um, I, don't, I reckon you're off yet if that gets... Well, I don't know. I can't see a shot here. He's, I just smash the crap out. You have to hit no. I don't know. He's just saying... He said... He's saying have a... He's saying, he's saying have a frame. <laughs> Well, it's just now that ball. I think does that that middle yellow. Well, I think they're all on. They're all on. That yeah, the yellow like, closest to the red, to the right of the red, I passes think, I under. Think it goes yeah, too, yeah. Think, yeah, plenty yeah. of room. I just think it's the intensified it's pressure. Just the holes now. of nerve now, doesn't it? Did Can you want to leave Tim straight on this yellow? He hasn't. Mm, plenty of options here. Might just come down to how how nice he lands on the black. Yeah, no, he's fine. He's got heaps of options. So what's the last ball to get on the black? Still got to make sure. Probably the ball in the middle. Yeah, that one just next to the black now, or the one over the middle back? The one that, yeah, the yeah, one okay. that's near the middle pocket, yeah. Oh, not now, but ain't. No. Be I think he's cooked it. It's dice. It's a little bit shit if you have to go this most left yellow, the closest to the, the bottom of the screen now. Oh, that just fell in. Give us back that normal view, Kenny. Yeah, top down. Yeah. Oh, it's still not, not it's awesome, straight, is it? It's isn't he? It's not awesome. Back you're queuing. And this is a problem, I reckon. No, this is okay. This is okay. He likes these shots. Yeah, he likes to punch these in and stun off side rails. Bit so. of an art to these shots as well, I reckon. He plays these shots really good. No doubt. How about that? For he a does. Shot? He plays them real good. That's a perler. Under the pump. What pump? Yeah, he That's likes to. Uh, that shot, you know, where you come off with a little bit. He, li he likes to play the shots where he can get through the white clean and neat, yeah. you know, with good queuing. I don't think he feathered that. He maybe he feathered it once. <laughs> Banged it. 10 him. 9, folks. And Roth has had some chances. He's missed the black, the frame previous to that one. He, uh, what did he do there? He missed that red to the, the pocket weight so one. He, yeah, he missed yeah. the pocket weight red, which was a very good chance still, all the same. Absolutely massive now. Oh, my share. No, I'm going to get another one. So we got another, another toilet break here. I talk more shit than anyone in this room. Do we? I think we do have another little mini break. Except I tell too much truth. 250 odd? 223. It's half. You're right, battery. Yep. Another so little another break. Geez, there's more breaks than the smoke break it's we saw in Buddy Shane Fell and Brett Rogers match. <laughs> they are nice toilets here. You must give it to them. They've refurbed all the toilets. I must say. Must say, when I went in the toilets, I was pleasantly surprised. I wanted to spend a couple of extra minutes in there and <laughs> it's cool, powder eh? puff me nose and all that sort of crap. It's quite suave, isn't it? Yeah. Well, this is it. Is it? Whose break is it? Roth? Yeah, it's Roth's, yep. 
This has turned into a perlo. We've got over 200 watching. Don't forget, guys, there's, um, have you still got that link? Okay. Put the link in the comments, anyone, you know, happy to donate a few bucks, help Kenny. It's been a good match, this, guys. It's worth a couple of bucks if you're watching and, and entertained by what you see. It's been a couple of... Long's just made a, a pretty valid comment while we're in the break, or we're about to break, but he's just said a few more Vicks might get down because the pot is open isn't on anymore. I, I do oh, believe really? the pot is open. We'll probably continue to run. I just don't know whether they'll keep the same date. I'm hoping they don't. I did not run sucks. this year. It didn't, no. Oh, okay. I think it sucks when tournaments clash. Mm. That's a huge break, and reds are going to be uh, the choice. Has he got that... I know it's early, early days, but if he's got that plant... For that red to red there, the red next to the yellow on the left side of the table. Do you think he's on it now, the corner? The maybe, the corner. maybe. Maybe. I think he's going to lay up here. Look at this. Wow. This is, this, he's just gone in a defense mode. He has, hasn't he? Mine you, though. Have a look oh. how the balls are situated. Horrible, so yeah. don't blame him. And he wants him to move this yellow because it, it's the one that's blocking the one that's stuck to the yellow. That near plant the there. Yeah. Yep, so the link's up there, guys. Um, any amount helps. Help Kenny get some new equipment. Uh, he's spent a lot of time and money of his own, so anything's appreciated, guys. Thank you. Wow, that has actually curved oh. in. That has curl. definitely curved in. That's just napped in. He's, had, he's having a good look at it. He doesn't know how it went in. It, it did nap. He's just standing behind the line now. He's filthy. No, I think the nap's pulled it in. I don't think... Not, oh, obviously it's a bit stiff, but the nap's pulled it in and he's... I look at the little, little hair marks around there as well, mate. Mm. If he bottles this, I don't know what to say. There's still a couple of little things he has to sort out, but surely it's all over, Steve-O. Ooh! Jesus. A little bit j jabby there. He ferried that, didn't he? Yeah. He just threw that Versace handbag at him. <laughs> but you're right, this is a massive chance. If he bottles this. Yeah, even, even Jake's just there. He's got always a bit twitchy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. It's amazing how this, this, this whole match has been... But take away the last three frames, and it's been very free-flowing. Um, both players are queuing really well, mm. and now it's just mm. it's a little bit of dodginess creeping in. A little bit of the pump. Mm. He's played so that real well, Ross. He doesn't play that one on the yellow to the right corner? Yeah, he does. He's just looking at the angle yeah. he's going to be on next. He's he definitely playing it. He can play playing ball. doesn't have to do anything with it. Just focus on the pot. I think, he's, I think he just wants to see the accessibility of this red. I think he's got options as well. You know, he's got the, the other red to the right middle. You just, just concentrate on the pot. You don't have to screw back or anything. I mean, I think the whole... the whole. I think he looked to see if he was straight on the red so he could play and screw back because it's yeah. going to be the trouble ball well, uh, very shortly. Almost merit play the top one now and screw into that yellow to move it out of the way. That's a that's the money ball, isn't it? But see how this can potentially get tricky because. Well, I just think he probably plays. Can he play for the top? Of those reds that we can't see now. Does he try and play for the, the most right one to the right middle now? Yeah, it's done for the ball in the bottom left yeah, corner. Give yourself some options. Does the black go on the bottom right? I don't think. See what it I mean? Does. The transition's all mm. dodgy. It's not. It's not as simple as it looks. No, it does, it's not on. So. And you're that's right. Why you that's why I'm wondering if you can actually play the red in the middle and then screw oh, back. He's coming back. He's screwing back. I like this. I like this. No. He's so not what's he playing for after this? I think he's going to screw. I think he's going to screw back to where he is now. Just going to make sure. No. He's played the other top ball. I think that's the shot. And now he's just got to hold his nerve. Just want to get fat behind the. You are right. He's got red. two. You can play it and lay up, mm. and then just. Mm pot it and black in the middle so the problem with this one if you commit to the pot you maybe over hit it trying to get a bit of position maybe yeah. you know like you're trying to come back out there's a little bit of pressure now and it looks it's, sort of straightish they're commentating in a nervous way as well <laughs> trying to emulate I guess how they're feeling out there it's all harder yeah. now it's sort of straightish on this oh, oh what a great shot a, that a is hit. a great shot 
That's He's a, pumped that in. That is a match-winning shot. He will play for the middle here. Both balls the same pocket. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he, he's a bit, a bit too much angle to just run through. Oh, he's going to stun. He's going to stun off the side cushion uh, for the ball in the middle. And he's still got two. He's still got two. That's, he. no, that's exactly what he's going to do. Ooh. What a great shot. What a great oh, that's shot. That's fine. That's, that's good. What do you do? Just lay it up? Is he cutting it in? Doubling it? Uh, looking at that angle. I'll be just laying it he up. He may double it. Yeah, he may double it. Be, but soft, you know what yeah, I mean? Like, you're going to get your double, mate. I think he's just going to lay it up. Yeah, that's the oh, shot. Oh, is it high? Is no, it he's wide? perfect. He's fine. No. It's a good shot. And okay, it, well Dave Rother will win this tournament. Well done. Oh, what a match, folks. And you can hear their round of applause for the both players and appreciation around the room. I hope everyone at home enjoyed that match. We certainly did. We enjoyed the whole tournament. Brent, thanks for having us, mate, you, as an ACT fella. No worries, mate. Thanks for coming down. Good to see you. Hope to see you again next year and bring some other mates with you. Absolutely, mate. And we'll let, we'll let Matty finish it off. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys.
That's enough. Just in time for the speeches. Um, so the runner-up this year, um, he's had a, a great, great tournament and he's, he's playing huge at the moment, uh, Ken Dixon, well done. Sean and Ron have to share their, they get a, they get a, 
split it up into each prize to two winners, but the way it is. I mean, one in That's a baby prize. So you know we own half a horse So will we give you a for a minute?
This is for first prize. Number 15. Jamie Stevens. <laughs> Thanks for staying. Drive, drive safe and uh, see you next year. Let's get, let's get back.